I'm excited to hear that uh, uh, is drunk driving more. That's <laughs> this gives me hope. I don't have a choice. I'm good at it though. I'm die, 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 die. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again to the power of the internet, and you are listening to the LOL Cow Podcast. With me, as always, is the ever-loving Tommy C. How you doing, Tommy? Wonderful. Jordy is here, as usual. I think still the star of the show. And surprise guest, I'm shocked that you came. I'm very excited to get into this with Dick Masterson. Now, Dick, we've determined that not everybody knows all of our guests. So, Dick, give us a quick rundown of your accolades so people can know who and what you are. Oh, uh, I went on Dr. Phil a long time ago. Uh, I said uh, men are better than women. I wrote that book. I think since then, uh, Dr. Phil has come around to my line of thinking on that he's doing an apology <laughs> have you seen him well, now it's uh, our bears are better than men yeah that's a good that's a good trend <laughs> hey who would you guys rather have uh, if you pulled up to like a steakhouse and had to valet your car would you rather have a woman or a bear valet the car oh god oh oh i drive a trail boss man i don't know what's that like a hover around scooter but what's i trip? also a fat so, hey, are you guys going to put me in the middle like you did with Vito? Because I, I don't want to feel like that uh, submarine that got squished with both of you boys on either side of me. Well, we can't really base that episode because we're getting trolled by the PKA guy. You may not know this, <laughs> but uh, our last editor worked for PKA, and so we thought he was a pretty safe bet. He came in and did the worst job humanly possible, and I am now under the belief <laughs> that he did this as a PKA a troll, that's that's yeah. my best guess because there's no other Probably. reason. Because he was telling Keemstar, he's can't. like, they only pay me a hundred dollars an episode over there. I'm not making any real money. I have children. Oh yeah, and, and yeah. so that sounds like an op to begin with. And Keemstar said, "Children? Did you say? Oh, well, let me get a. Was Fiverr too expensive for Keemstar? Is that is that?" He should talk Woody, apparently, and he says they weren't giving me enough money, and I'm so grateful to be doing this, and yeah. thank you so much. And then when, when Keem fired him, it was like, oh, nothing personal, uh, no problem, no issue. Wait a minute, I thought you really needed the money. So that makes me think it's a troll, too. <laughs> it was all f***ed up, though, right? Vito said it was uh, unlistenable. I mean, aside from just being you guys, that it was like the editing was bad. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I mean, imagine if the Vito episode was bad, you're on it this time. Can you imagine how bad? Poorly, this one's going to do in the ratings. Yeah. Good I, God. Vito's really good, though. I, 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 It was a good conversation. I thought Vito was really good. I, I thought it was a good episode. I just yeah. think the editing oh, is yeah. It's sad because, like, Why do Vito... you guys edit, though? You're both... I mean, you, you both know how to talk. Why do you edit this show at all? The idea originally was to edit for context, right? Like, if you speak about something, somebody comes in and puts in the <sighs> receipt right then and there so people don't have to go look for it after the fact. But like they, some ed, we've had so many fucking yeah. editors lately. Right? I think we're on yeah. number five or six that they, and some of them don't know the backstory. So you got to kind of like hold their hand through it. It's it seems weird to me to have a podcast that gets so heavily edited. Yep. Like people listen to you for a long time, they know what you're talking about. Yeah, to me, I want to, and I think this is Keemstar's point of view more than it is mine. But I do agree with it. I do think it's a matter of like not everybody's up on low cal lore. And if you Google low cal lore, like there's eight million Chris Chan documentary episodes there's eight million boogies the downfall episodes right <laughs> like let's make sure he's still that, falling there's gonna yeah. be one there's gonna yeah, be they, a final they, they, one one day <laughs> dick there is no rock bottom baby i'm going to end up in china in one day yeah and, and it's gonna be amazing right but the point it's is like garfield books every one of your town fall has a new like fat pun boogie hits rock bottom <laughs> boogie, boogie wallows out you. everything about you i genuinely look forward to reading about your Dick. Anyway, the point that I'm making is <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We're on, we're on YouTube, boogie. You got to say self delete. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to your self delete oh, one day, Dick. It's very I exciting. That. I hope I look forward to outliving you. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, I, I'm actually curious if I was going to, am I going to myself uh, faster than you with liquor or you with your uh, pudding and whatever you're putting in pudding your blood. pudding is that what you think fat people eat is pudding <laughs> jesus christ i went right past Isn't the pudding straight eat? to icing what are you talking about i eat icing out of the can and cookie the dough out Come the on. canister uh, yeah do you watch the whale do you have those moments like in the whale where he's oh my god i have okay so i watched the whale on the flight 
to my fight with Jordy on the airplane. And, and, and everybody told me that this movie is unrealistic. It's unrealistic. I watched the scene that everybody was commenting about being unrealistic. Like, no fat guy puts, like, chips on a sandwich. And, like, I'm like, I put chips on every sandwich. I put chips on pizza. I will put chips on other chips and eat that with a fork. I don't give a fuck. Are you kidding? Uh, it was the most realistic movie I've ever seen in my yeah, life. The, the, Except this guy got laid and had a daughter. That's the one thing that was uh, unbelievable. That's why I'll never understand incels. You got 200 bucks, bitch. Go get some. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, they want to be loved, though, man. Well, yeah. they're never going to be loved. I mean, Boogie, I'm sorry. You're the Look only person Jesus to take Christ. a professional fight and have to be pushed through the airport by, like, like a security guard. <laughs> In history. <laughs> In history. <laughs> <laughs> On, like, a Home Depot platform, one of those big rollers. I saw you eating that Big Mac in your documentary, and I'm like, man, that ain't right. I've never seen anyone eat a Big Mac, like, underhanded, like, granny style. Eating a Big Mac. Like, it's Look, man, a lot of things that that documentary didn't f add up, but at the end of the day, it was entertaining. So it was matter, fun. I guess. He says it was, it was fun. fun. He fun. was all sorts of rattled when that thing came out. He was, like, jumping at me. We got along prior to that, and then he was jumping and freaking out over everything. We couldn't, you know, the clap we did, we couldn't even do it. We couldn't even do it. He was so pissed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gone, man. I was gone. Why? I mean, you know, my brain, my brain don't work so good. Dick, you know this at this point. Because I didn't know how people are going to take that. Like, obviously, there's bits in that thing that are 100% accurate. I could have told and you. And then there's parts of it that are not, like, entirely accurate. And I'm, like, nervous about, like, the uh. job interview and shit like that. Like, I'm like, how, how are people going to take this? How are people going to edit it? You know? That was the worst part when you, like, came off as too good to work. Like, I think, I think oh, yeah. that you think you're too good to get a job. Right, well, obviously not. Oh, yeah. But it was fucking hilarious, oh, right? Wow. Well, Boogie size, he can't. Get a job. That he worked at McDonald's. What's he gonna do? Eat all the f***ing food and then sit yeah. down? I'm too fat to get an erection, much less a job. Did you, did, you, did you see Charlie just completely freak out over that? Um, yeah, it was really surprising. Who's that? Who's Charlie? Dick. Yeah, um, voice critical. Um, voice critical. He oh, he got yeah. so mad at Boogie because he's like, he goes Arizona eight, L A ten. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> like, get over yourself. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Dick is my LA ten for the record. If I was ever gonna mm. get Dick, that's that's who I want. I want mm, Dick. Good lord! Wait, you saying you're gonna f me? I'm an yeah. LA ten. Know, if if you're down, I mean, if you're you seem like you are a co-host. Your co-host Vito is clearly down for literally anything. So I presume that translates to you. <laughs> Isn't as well. that wild? He'll fuck. Yes. He'll fuck basically that was anything. And he doesn't yeah. care. I, he, I'm a, I, yeah. I, I, I've known Vito. I want to say four years now. And he's come on on my show over the years. And I, I generally, unlike most people, really get along with him. And he's telling me he's doing trans broads. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know? Did, did that make the cut? He's showing me did pictures of, like, cut? rent boys. Like, rent boys are texting him during the show, like, hey, big daddy, maybe I could oh, move in and, like, God. clean your bathroom for you. And it's some twink, <laughs> like, with his between his legs. I'm like, what are you just showing? Mm. Man, I'm not drunk enough for you to be showing me this. I'm still going to throw up. Is that really why you that. only let him be your laugh track on the show? Like, do you ever let him speak? Do you ever not release the leash a little bit? I turn him down in the mix a lot. You guys, <laughs> yeah. <should try> that. <laughs> Tommy, just turn everybody down. Because you, you. <laughs> you guys have given our show quite a, a bit of shit. But I think at the end of the day, we're doing pretty good over here. I think in terms of numbers. <laughs> You're doing too good, man. You posted you got money after that veto episode. I'm like, who the f is stupid enough to give <clears> these guys money? Uh, yeah. You giving Keem some of that money? What for? Why? You, you know, at the end of the day, he runs the live shows, and uh, he also has the infrastructure because he he does all the taxes, and he has the setups, and he has the insurance. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that, oh, that way, when I call that, that we want to call uh, a veto a file this episode, his insurance will cover us for the lawsuit, that kind of thing. You know, sounds like he's gaslighting you too. You're the stars. You should make <laughs> most of the money, if not all of it. We well. well. I mean, we. I, every time I think about Dick, his, yeah, it was his idea. Every time I think about Dick, I think about this crip walking white dude. You guys ever seen this video? Oh yeah, that uh, that guy with the long hair. He's no. got kind of a little face too. I think I follow him on Instagram. Like the the Southern boy guy who's who's dancing around. What the hell? Shuffling. Put that in, editor. Do your job, editor. It shows what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Dick, where are you from originally? You're not from LA, are you? Uh, I lived here since I was like ten. Oh, oh, so you are an LA guy. Yeah, oh, I apologize. Yeah, we oh. hate uh, we hate the transplants too here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's what I wondered. If you were as, as a Southern boy, how the f do you oh. live in LA? 
Well, outside of uh, outside of like Hollywood and the people who are who are just who will do anything to be famous, outside of Weinstein's like uh, casting couch, it's just it's just a bunch of like poor Mexicans <laughs> and normal people. Mm. Outside of L.A., if once you get past all the homeless people, there's like a moat of homeless keeping all. So, the, uh, so out. somewhere in California, there's actually livable like wages and like rent. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't need livable wages though. Uh, because, wages. because like they had this whole deal where like McDonald's is going up to twenty dollars an hour. I'm like, dog, that's like what forty 20... grand, if that. I, I mean, know. I now it's all like automated. It's like you're now. not living in California for forty grand. Uh, people are mad. They're like, how dare they? How dare they? They'll actually be able to afford food. They'll be able to afford to eat at McDonald's. F them. No, they Not won't. McDonald's is Not like, you long. need a loan to get a Big Mac <laughs> yeah. now, yeah. Boogie. That, it instantly got everyone fired and made the price of everything like double overnight. It's f***ed here. Um, we're going back to drunk Ger- driving because Ubers are so expensive. I'm like, well, I guess we're... In Germany, we only have the... At McDonald's, we only have the cooks. They actually have, a, they have cooks and they usually come out and actually serve you because the machines do everything now. So I, that's probably what's going on in the states. I imagine. I am excited to hear that uh, uh, Dick is drunk driving more. That's this gives I don't me have hope. a choice. It gives me. I'm hope, good at Dick. it though. I've been doing it for yeah. a long time. These kids, they don't have a chance. <laughs> that's what they all say. <laughs> yeah, I tried to take an Uber in fucking San Diego. They wanted sixty dollars for a one way oh, trip to crazy. Walmart, like two miles away. Yeah, I I I went to McDonald's the other day, and my my girlfriend loves it. She grew up on it. Um, you know, obviously she had all the birthday parties still there up. when she turned 16 <laughs> last year, you know, and, um, so we, we went and got, I, they had a $9 chicken sandwich mm-hmm. and I thought, how good can a nine, I like, they had a coupon in the app for like half off. So I got it. They f***ed up my sandwich. I went back two days later. I'm like, can I get my sandwich correctly now? They, they ran out of chicken fillets. This is a company that wants $9 for a chicken sandwich that Chick-fil-A will only charge $5 for. They can't f- sell it to you without f***ing it up. And then when they f*** it up, they can't replace it. How the f*** is that a $10 sandwich now? Make that make sense. I don't know. Listen, you have the passion of, like, a Palestinian talking about their homeland when you're talking about an overpriced chicken sandwich. I don't know. A f- I know absolutely sh- about Palestine, but I do know McDonald's should not know. be yeah, selling yeah. $9 chicken sandwiches. That was a shocker. Yeah, 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 but you got two 400-pound land monsters on this show. I'm like, I'm over here thinking about when Zaxby's, I could get 10 chicken tenders for $10 with sauce. That yeah. same meal now is $17. I was like, good Lord. Do you guys ever track what you eat? As like, I have. I, I, I have. always want Vito to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you on hey, you got, you got app, again. Yeah, yeah. I got a no drinking app too that I'm supposed to have opened at one point. I know what you mean. No, I I got this app. It's called Lose It, and it pairs with my doctor's um uh, fucking uh, software or whatever. <laughs> And then I, I went in. But you ate the doctor like, software? Is that there, 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 yeah. there, there goes it that officially, officially yeah. sponsor right now. <laughs> yeah. it, officially, it officially said I ate all of it. I ate everything that there was to eat and more. Does it track stuff you accidentally ate too, or is it just stuff you, you remember eating? I mean, I don't accidentally like fall on a sandwich, Dick. What are you talking about? Like, I know, like, it's generally on purpose. What the fuck do you mean by that? Do, I don't do, know, you, I do you at least want... grimace when you order the second sandwich at the drive thru? <laughs> No, I do it with a smile, no. baby. I'm like, give me the skinny, <laughs> give me all, all of them. <laughs> you know, we went to Arby's last night. Here's what I had at Arby's last night. They have the sliders. I got two sliders. They had dollar French fries. So me and Desi split French fries. And they have snack wraps now. And I wanted to try the snack wraps. So I had three chicken sandwiches technically. This is fucking Arkansas poverty right here. The snack uh, wrap, did you say? A salad? Dude, Sorry. Dude, yeah, no, it's a snack wrap. No, it's not a fucking salad. There is vegetables in it, and I can tolerate them inside a fried chicken Hold sandwich. Hold on, you just said you can tolerate them you, on their own. You don't eat vegetables a la carte? I mean, not on purpose. Actually, I do sometimes. I like, we, we'll so have somebody, like buffalo somebody gave you a bowl of broccoli, you'd be like, oh, I can't do this. I'm, I can't belittle myself. No, I fuck with broccoli and asparagus. I fuck with asparagus. But the goal is you have to soak it in butter. Then I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> then I will eat it, obviously. <laughs> uh, 
Why don't you just drink the butter? Did you guys don't, see don't Vito's comic me. went uh, got over a hundred thousand dollars last night? Did it really? How about yeah, that? Yeah, that's hundred thousand yeah, dollars would go a long way for you, mm-hmm. wouldn't it? Boogie? Well, people are really excited for the new Deadpool movie. They want to read it before it comes out, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh God, that was funny. Vito on that day was like you and your documentary came out. Yeah. I think. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something about that. What are the odds of them? Yeah, you know, I, I actually, I think they stole it from him. I really do. I mean, oh, yeah. He's, doing, he's pushing this thing. Yeah, I do. He's been pushing it for two years. He's talked about it with me on and off. And all of a sudden, now it's the Deadpool Wolverine movie. I have no doubt in my mind that, that there's a bunch of untalented assholes in Hollywood that would steal somebody's internet shit. No doubt in my mind. Uh, we should tell Vito that. Get him all whipped up into a frenzy about his idea getting stolen. I don't know, man. It's like after seven years of Rick and Morty, I don't think that idea is that uh, novel, really. Yeah, yeah. The, to, to think that Vito came up with anything on his own is really stretching it. No, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, dude, I, I, had, I, had a com- I had a comic steal some shit I did on PKA before. What was it? It was the f-ing cows. Like when you, it's like, you know, the whole like. If you had to have sex, which animal would you be? It would be a cow. Like, Jim Norton did a whole bit on it, like, a year after I did that. You think he stole your shit? Jim Norton? 100%. Jim New Norton, New Brunswick, yeah. New Jersey? Jimmy, no, little Jimmy Norton? Little Anthony Jimmy Norton. Little Jimmy Anthony Norton. Anthony. It, it's kind of funny that, you know, fucking um, uh, Anthony started coming on PK after I left, right? Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, I think at the end of the day, most comedians, uh, and Dick, you consider yourself a comedian. I don't know if anybody else does, but uh, I, do, I think a lot of comedians do tend to like take a joke and get inspired by it and then turn it into something completely what, what, different. What, and what, you think that's, that's not, not what, what happened, happened to Vito. <laughs> like, Jim Norton is not Carlos Mencia here. He's not like that. Yeah, that's not, what happened. That's not what happened to Vito. The entire concept is that film. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm more, I'm, I'm more worried about Jim Norton. I don't want to think of Jim Norton as somebody who's just like listening to PK with uh, a hacker in his hand and a pencil in the other. I, let, and like, let, let, me, let me hear it. I feel like he was inspired by it. I don't think he stole okay, a yeah. joke word for word. I mean, comedians are catty bunches. Am I wrong about this, Dick? I know a few comedians. No, I love stealing jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your favorite story? Al you Bundy's. Um, oh, shit, man. Uh, the uh, can't, women can't live with them. <laughs> Joke. Take my wife, please. That's I the like, one Maddox says I stole anyway. I like um I like any time a comedian takes a joke and makes it makes it better except Amy Schumer, who's only taken the joke and never made it better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing uh Andrew Dice Clay's routine for my whole life. That's uh, Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do you smoke around your neck on the stage? Does anybody know who Andrew Dice Clay is? Are we really no. dating ourselves right <laughs> yes, now? Yes, very oh, much Jesus so, yeah. Christ. <laughs> Holy! F- <laughs> I talk about Sam Kinison every once in a while, and these even the the fellow Gen Xers don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, which yeah. is surprising to me. Sam because Sam was prolific. When right? Sam like died, was- though, that you really didn't hear anything about him afterwards. He really it, it, the whole whole thing died. I mean, that's like that's like my preteen years wrapped up. But when he passed away, he just didn't. He didn't. He wasn't like Tupac, you know. what I mean, he wasn't putting out a, a new, new comedy record. I mean, he was in certain circles. We fat circles, guys yeah. mourned him because you know, right? Like we were number one. We were really proud of him. He didn't die of a heart attack. Instead, you know, he died of like a car wreck. So we're all excited. The fat guy did not have a stroke. Secondly, uh, he was one of the five of us that ever was popular. So we were really sad to see him go. You know. You know what's bad? You know what's bad with the fat guy? It's when the fat guys get popular, then they lose weight. Oh, yeah. Like they look Rogen like and Jonah too. Hill. They just look like yeah. giant heads with bags. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You guys are never going to lose weight, right? No, no, I'm planning to. I ain't working on it. I've <laughs> lost 10 pounds. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I yeah. like to try every now and then, but I usually give up within 20 pounds because pizza tastes better than, than, than being skinny. Hey, you know, I, had a, I have a bet. By the time this episode airs, I'll have lost it. Um, but I had a bet with Keemstar to lose 20 pounds in two weeks. And you can ask Jordy. That's pretty easy to do. You can mostly do that with water weight in the first you initial loss fat, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and by God, I right as of today, I'm only clocking in 12 of the 20. So uh, that's how dedicated I am to that, that I still went I to. to you know, I started walking with Desi because Desi just made a point, point out clear. How, how much yeah. time you got left, Boogie? Like uh, to live, or, or, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like for this bet, uh, like less than twenty four hours. Yeah, I could probably get in a sumo uh, suit and or, like one of the sweat suits. Or I was, I was saying, like, go get you a fucking black trash bag. Go outside and like just sit there. You don't mow the lawn or anything because you don't want to be active. 
But just sit there and sweat. Uh, you know, the plan is to go out and, and walk again today because we did that. People are liking it on the channel. Should I? Believe it or not, I can exercise a little bit. A little bit. But there's we not, know you can I, exercise. I, I could, no one's doubting that. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what Vito did to win. So, we so, had a weight loss contest, and he spent like the last two days just sweating nonstop and drinking salt water. So, uh, he got a bunch of – Kyle from PKA gave him a bunch of weird shit to do, and – he won. He lost like twenty pounds in two days, uh, and then he gained it all. Dick, back. how fat are you? How, what do you? How Me? Fat are you if now? Kyle from PKA told yeah. me to do anything, I would do it quick. No <laughs> question. <there. laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably two fifteen after this weekend. Maybe two eighteen. Dude, I've had shits bigger than you. That's insane. I, or are you? Yeah. You know. I mean, I, you could probably still lose weight. Don't get me wrong, but I, I could lose your body weight and still be overweight. <laughs> I don't know, man. I work out like six days. I know people try to call me fat, but I think I just got so many cameras you're not on. Not fat man. at all. You look like you're in shape. I think oh, it, I think it has to do with the fact that you're sitting next to the fattest you've ever known, which is is obviously Vito, right? So there's yeah. like just like on on camera, you look fat next to him. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, and I got this hate on my boy tiny Vito. face, yeah, of course too, it. so it makes yeah. everything look. I got this tiny face and the big Gallagher hair, so I just look a lot bigger than I am. <clears throat> yeah, I think we have the same haircut now. That's not good. I, <laughs> Do we? One of us is going to have to cut. <laughs> Were you surprised if Vito was in a trans women or lady boys or whatever the f*** he does? Uh, no, I'm surprised. Did that take you by surprise? No, I've never heard somebody who cares less about talking about their sexuality though like i know guys who are out and out proud and gay it's still a they have they have slightly more shame talking about their their uh pride festival orgies than Vito does talking mm. about his <laughs> black he was very girlfriend. open about it yeah, yeah I, I was very pleased with that right like if you if you're going to be uh somewhere on the deviant scale i don't even know how deviant that is these days but <laughs> If you're going to be a little bit deviant from the norm, uh, the baseline, fucking just own it. Just be proud of it, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like me, I, I, it took me a while to it's admit. Free, like, I like women least. in their 20s. I like women in their 20s. And that's not even that f***ed up. It's not even that f***ed up. Everybody likes women in their 20s, and I struggle with that sh And he's out here like, yeah, I suck a 19-year-old trans uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, good, good, good for you. Good Wait, for you. you had to admit that you mm. liked women in their 20s? What is that? How did you? Uh... I don't know. It, it was a struggle for me, man. I. It, well, it, when you're, you're coming at us like you don't know, okay? Like your first interaction with me was like you started hitting the 12, 13, 14 jokes. Who me? He he's not wrong. He he's not he's not wrong. Uh, you go heavy on the yeah the jokes when you refer to this show. I've noticed. Uh, I, yeah, I mean it's uh it's funny. Then they sh <laughs> boring and tiring. You guys wig like, out about everything, so yeah, it's pretty funny to go hard at you. <laughs> like I'm a year, so whoa. I'm a year into this relationship with Desi, and I'm still deleting comments from people like, "Oh, it's beautiful to see Boogie out with his daughter." It's like, those, like well, why are you making your relationship like it? a subject of public conversation? I don't know. I'll tell you, and a lot question. of people do not understand this originally. Money, mother. No. <laughs> Number one, Money? yes, I do very much want to pay my bills. But number two, the original reason is we had a troll doxing her, found out that I fought her on Instagram, and is like, I'm going to out your all's relationship. And we were like, oh, trap you, we'll daddy? do it first. We'll yeah, do trap it daddy. first. Weird as that guy dog. called into my show. He was cool. <laughs> how do you, you find it cool? Like, the man's wife is dying. He's got a GoFundMe running for it. And and he wants us to come in here and just, all he wants to do is just do minor level like gay ops. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, Oh, my wife is dying. My wife is dying anyway. Here's Instagram photos of me at a giant party I had to pay to get into. What the go fund me how is he need to go fund me for that for? I mean <laughs> how's that gonna stop him? What do you well, want to she's supposed to he's, he has to pay for a procedure. Oh, okay. So yeah. he's not dead okay. He's not dying, dying. She's uh he's in bed. But she's if she doesn't get the dying. procedure, the chance of her dying is going further okay. Yeah. Okay. but like my question is like dick why'd you come at me as that's your first interaction with me is that uh i don't remember man it was uh <laughs> i think i was watching ralph and you were talking about somebody showing you a video that may or may not have been porn oh that was kyle oh that, that was, was kyle. kyle yeah i mean that's kind of an unusual thing to say <laughs> so <laughs> say i mean like what are you fucking it, it was in this kind of a setting yeah we're doing pka <laughs> yeah and the, Kyle goes, like, hey, look at this, shit. you know, like, bang. And you click on it, and it's like, okay, what am I looking at? Ugh. And now, and now, hey, you know, it's like, that's that's how fast that shit happens. It's not like I actively search that shit out. 
<sighs> well, that's uh... and it's not like it's not like you can talk to Kyle or anything because you know. Jesus. What, what can't you, oh, you talk, oh, you're trying to insinuate <laughs> that he kills people. I got you. I don't think he fuck. I don't think he Keith. I honestly don't. You know, I've, I've lived with Kyle know. before. I've known I, him I, I don't years. know if he did or not either, but I just think it's funny. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with Kyle. Kyle is too much of a stoner to mm. like create an elaborate plan and get away with it. Like that. Mm. Mm. I could see that like, actually. Kyle, yeah, Kyle's, gra Kyle's grand Kyle's grand plan to like get. You know, marijuana from Colorado was to mail it to himself in Georgia. The cops, <laughs> yeah, about the cops. Clearly, you know what? The cops clearly think he did because I don't think they would have hit him on that stupid marijuana charge if they think he didn't. Well, the, they, they tried the, to get uh, him mail on lady something. got him. Oh, What's that? God, that's bad. The mail lady got yeah, him. Yeah, but they didn't have to. They didn't the have to. The package. They didn't have to fall. fall. That's a, that's a kind of like the boogie thing. These people want to get reelected. That's what they want to do. They want yeah, DAs want to get reelected. I'm bad. speculating. Like, if you could take down the biggest gun guy on YouTube for something small and then blow it yep. out and make it make a good career yep. resume, you're going to do it. Hey, Dick, would you sleep up? Would you sleep at Kyle's house overnight? Would Dick? I sleep at Kyle's house? Overnight. I mean, in a room or drive drunk. Yourself. Is this like a bear question? A bear in a... Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'd, I'd rather drive drunk, to be honest with you. Kyle's pretty big. I don't know. Well, He's... I'd have to... <laughs> He's all roided out now, or whatever he's on. Uh, yeah. trail. He's on whatever RFK is on. Yeah, I, I might, I might sleep with one eye open if I was there. Dude, <laughs> like Kyle was one hundred percent on steroids. And I say this because back in the day, and like when we played Xbox, there was this game called Geometry Wars. People Great probably game. don't remember this. I do. Game. I remember that. Yeah. But like we had this contest. Is that what like you guys YouTube call having sex? Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars. <laughs> 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 and we had this thing. There's a game called Pacifist where you had to take this little thing and fly around and say, last as long as humanly possible. And everybody was competing on scores. Well, Kyle went and found like a pro player and like paid this guy like two hundred dollars <laughs> to jump onto his account and get his score higher than everybody else's, <laughs> just so he could throw <laughs> hutch. Yeah. Like, he is a little Kyle, schemer. Willing to go the extra mile, yeah. <laughs> that fucker. So if there's a quick way out, Kyle will take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ain't kidding. Oh yeah, you guys, Keith. <laughs> but it makes no sense for him to kill Keith. It makes zero sense because, like, when he killed Keith, that cut off a lot of his access to like exotic weaponry, like tanks and you know eighty four. Well, like you said, he's, he's not exactly like a thinking man, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, yeah. Kitty did the thinking for him. I, I, I didn't, like, first Kitty of all, first of all, I want to make this abundantly clear. I didn't say anybody. I'm just laughing it's oh, yeah, but yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't you sleep in his house tommy yeah 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 Every, I'm everything in his house, he, fine. Yeah, everything because you never know obviously you know? i ain't sleeping in his house no way <laughs> i mean would you rather sleep at kyle's house or Vito's house uh, not now i don't know what i know, what I know. <laughs> Vito doesn't have a door on his bathroom did you know that Vito what? confessed recently that he replaced the door of his bathroom with a shower curtain so that he could sp keep his legs further apart whilst he's what? I've never heard, I <laughs> never heard such house. a thing. Jesus Christ. So that's what you got to deal with if you're at his house. A guy sh in the Even open. Even my bathroom, he could spread eagle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jordy, I remember, I remember going on PKA back in the day, and they were recounting the story of, like, when Kyle had you over at his house or whatever. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. And Kyle, I'll never forget the worst thing Kyle had to say about you. And I was like, is that it? He goes, yeah, the very first thing Wings does is he pees with the door open. Who gives a shit? What do you mean? Who gives? You know why that is, that you're pissing with the door you know open in somebody else's house, swings? Yeah, it's weird. You know, you know why that is? Because I own my own place since I was 19. Yeah, me too. I pay for that motherfucking. I was pissed with the I door open. I got roommates. If I with the door open, you better get used to it. My name is on the <laughs> e. I don't. Yeah. I lock the fuck. I close the door locking because I don't want anybody walking in. But if I piss or sh in this house, it's a, it's a, it's a dominance thing. Yeah, it's like you guys belong in prison. This is terrible manners. What are you? Who are you trying to assert dominance over? Hey, as the, the only food? person on this podcast that has been Dog. to prison uh, for four hours, uh, I'll let you know I did not. Yeah. There, but if I did, I would have closed the door. I would have waited until I was asleep on the bunk to take that stink. You know what this made me figure out, though, Dick? Uh, I think a year and a half ago, you don't tell me he had a girlfriend. There's no a girlfriend if he's. A shower no, you can't bring a girl to your place no, with a shower curtain no, bathroom door. Do That's that. got no, too many questions. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds like uh, well, Vito, I'm not the only person on the show that's been into sugaring. It sounds like he's, yeah, Vito's paying for it. If you if you have to with a shower curtain as a door. Is that the name for you, buying sugaring? Uh, there's there's well, there's diff, there's different he does it wrong. <laughs> dick. Uh, there is just buying, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to sleep with a street walker. What the? 
that's insane, right? Like that's oh. well, number one. How traumatic would that be for the streetwalker? I don't want to be you, result. You, you, you realize there's high end escorts too, right? You can right, like that's what I'm talking about. And then also there's this, the relationship thing where you're kind of like we're friends and we hang out and that kind of thing. Do you, so and you again, get off on like kind of manipulating them with your money? Like no, it, what I got, what I liked, what what was fun for me when I was doing it was I was not emotionally available, but I was financially available, and it just made me feel good to pay for somebody's shit sometimes. It made me feel good. I got, I got, I got a question, Boogie. You you had a pretty good relationship with your ex-wife, right? Did you ever talk to her about your sugaring? Yeah, she thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Do you have a story that you shared with her that she thought was the funniest? Not particularly, other than I, I warned her. I was like, hey, I think this girl's about to do some crazy shit. It was Lucy Fox, and of course, then she did. Um, and I was like, Hey, listen, so you're going to hear about this on the internet anyway. So you, I may as well go ahead and tell you ahead of time. Now, this girl got mad at me, decided I wasn't giving her this one, that, what if she wanted this one of that. Um, and I think she's going to end up coming out saying something horrible, but you know, me, obviously nothing horrible happened or whatever. And she's like, Jesus Christ, your dating choices are even worse than mine. You know, that's after I think you in reference up. to dating me. That? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wow. Me and my ex-wife mm -hmm. still friendly to this day. Thankfully, you know. Uh, do you have like? Why? Do you keep these like uh, whatever sugars on the clock? Like if they don't respond fast enough, do you pull the money away from them? Or no? What God, doing? Jesus Christ! What? The what? No, I just said, like being Boogie nice to people. Wrong, I just like being nice to people. Nah, it gets let, me off. Let me explain Boogie sugaring for <sighs> yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Boogie sugar. Boogie sugaring is like this. You got he, he finds a girl that's cute that has like a kid that has their has their like value lowered in the actual dating market. That's like, <laughs> no, I'm a four hundred pound man. <laughs> She needs her light bill paid. Maybe I can get a blow. Hands uh, her four hundred dollars for light bill. Gets his awesome. stuck, and then keeps talking to her. And he every time she needs a little money, he kind of like trades it for sexual favors. He he creates. God, I hate. I kind of hate so how dirty. in the neighborhood you're at right now. But you're not entirely wrong. It was <laughs> like, hey, you, look, I have money. You need help. Uh, can, call me up whenever you. you Hi, Desi. <laughs> I need my ducks. All right. I, you know, that rarely came into it. That rarely came into it, if I'm being honest. What do you mean? It was mostly money? So, so how, how did how'd you, how'd you initiate the sex then? Yeah. You like... It was mostly just like about hanging out. You know? that, was more, that was more my shtick. Huh. So you wanted to pay people's light bill to come over and watch you play like Animal Crossing. Well, my thought process, again, was I knew what it was like to be homeless. I knew what it was like not to be able to pay your bills. I knew what it was like to do that shit. Yeah. And if I can help somebody not have to do a woman it, that you also that sounds want to like a deal, though. not a right, guy. Yeah. You're not helping a I, man. I, I do it for guys. I'm doing it for two guys right now, Dick. It's one of the biggest things of the podcast. Everybody's oh. mad at me that I help you people did. out right now, but I keep doing well, it. Who are you I'm helping out right now? Did. I help people. It's what I do. It gets me off. It makes me feel good about how myself. Are you, he literally he he was literally about to give his house to his roommate who's lived there for like yeah. Now King stars buying it free. So wait, so Keem start you're helping Keem start at your house now instead of your yeah roommate? maybe. Maybe that might be, but oh, he, 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 wow, he really talked to you. I want to you know your opinion. Deal, I want to huh? hear your opinion. Tell me your opinion. Okay. <laughs> he wants to pay my mortgage until I die, but then he gets the house afterwards. Oh, it sounds like he's going to uh, fuck you just like he did with the fight when you guys were boxing and you got paid dick out of that. Yeah. I mean, I, well, that, I, 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 to be fair, to be fair with that, like we were a dark match. Yeah. We had no had clue. A limited budget. Yeah. The only issue I have with that is the matches underneath us got paid similar. Yeah, so Keem's gonna like reverse and they had your no house. draw. Like he's gonna keep it, but he's gonna pay it. He's gambling on you dying early. I guess is that the? I guess that's the plan, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, like see, I w I wouldn't do the reverse mortgage. I'd I'd actually just offer to sell him the house at cost. Yeah, but get lifetime right. Yeah, yeah. so that's a much better way of doing it. I think if we do it. But uh, I don't know. It's it's one of the pictures. I mean, that way I, he takes ownership. Look, you can over say now. whatever you want to 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 like shit talk Keemstar, but at the end of the day, at least he pays me enough to where I can afford a fucking bathroom door, Dick. Yeah, pay Vito some money. But you're money. the show. He's not paying you. It's your money. You deserve the money. You guys are generating the content, and people are watching for you. If anything, Keemstar still makes at the, the end of the day, worse. like you made it out to be this like big deal that I'd be like rich as shit if I worked for you instead of him. I sound like I'm making more over here. Uh, I don't want you to work for maybe. What am I in the carnival business? That was now? back in Why the day. I'm talking like five years ago. We're talking like five years oh, ago. Oh yeah, I think it would have been. Yeah. A, I think if you and I had rebooted the biggest problem, it would have been funny. I mean, it probably wouldn't have worked, but or for long, but it would have been funny. It might have been, yeah. I mean, like, I, you go in on Vito, man. I was right to turn that shit down. <laughs> yeah. You go in on Vito, like, 
<laughs> no, I couldn't have fucking stood that shit. You know, and at the end of the day, everybody thought it came down to the fact that, you know, like, oh, it's Maddox got in his ear or whatever. And Maddox did. He messaged me. But obviously, we all know what Maddox is going to say. Dick is the devil. Oh, he did? Here, and we all know. What did he what, message yeah, like, you? I just uncovered just based- an email that he sent to uh, his ex-girlfriend's mom, by the way, after they broke he, up. Pretty funny. He email. texted me. Boy, I'm going to grill you on this. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do it because it needs to be done. Okay. But to, to go back, uh, Maddox did come Wait, wait. What about the me, Keemstar house? So your friend that you were going to give your house to. That, forget like that. Forget that. We'll friend, talk about it giving the house to Keemstar? He's got his own money. He'll be fine. Listen, okay, I want to go back to this Maddox shit because this is one of the reasons I want to have you on the show. Okay, so Maddox did is message Keemstar me. He's like, Look, and associates? He's, like, it- he's like, he's like, do be careful when it comes to Dick because yeah. if you get on his bad side, he will stay on your bad side. You probably don't want to be there. You probably can't handle it emotionally. And I'm like, yeah. you're not wrong, okay? <laughs> but that's the worst Maddox had to say about you, right? Okay, yeah. but... But at the end of the fucking day, the real reason I didn't do it is because you're you. Like, you understand that, right? I can't. I, I, you're saying you didn't do the show because I'm a jerk? I didn't do the show because you're you. Like, that. it's not even that you're a jerk. It's just that you. Because I'm a mean person? Uh, what do you. Because I don't know. I don't. It just. You're just. I don't know. You are a mean person. Sometimes Vito seems to think it's an act. You think, I don't what do you think? I'm know. like a scumbag while you're getting your house stolen by Kingsar? Is that what you're telling no, me? Like you're my house. No, no, no. I just yeah, think, yeah, I, yeah. I think that you're no a bully. I think, I you, think you get off on being a bully. I yes. think that's it. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. that's. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you at all? Does, does that, is that how who you Why want to be? Like you wake up every day and like, boy, I can't wait to bully some mentally retarded people. Hooray! Uh, you're talking about you and Jordy I now, do. or whoever Vito. I'm more whoever. important about Vito. Like yeah, it's, it's pretty good. clear after the last episode, Vito could probably do a little bit better. What? Then a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for a comic that's uh, two, that's a year late. You think Vito could do you, better? Than are that? you taking? Are you taking success for that? Are you saying you're the reason that's successful? Uh, I don't know. I could probably, I could probably credit myself for. Maybe twenty grand in that. You don't think it's the art? You don't think it's the writing? You don't think it's anything else? No, it's the hype. It's like fun to support Vito. Every, it, there's it's it all vaporware until yeah. it comes out. Um, no, it's it's people are really excited and hyped about it. You're asking me if I'm proud of being a bully? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You wake Everybody, up in the morning, you guys like, are, this is what you I You especially to are be. a real manipulative person, and I'm I'm wise to it. <laughs> I can see <laughs> it. That's why I like I like bullying people. It's not are, it, it's not that you wake up in the morning and you're a manipulative person and you project that on others. No, nah, I'm it's pretty sure that, it's right? you. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure it's you, <laughs> yeah. and everybody else sees it too. Oh, look at my relationship. That every oh now I'm getting bullied for posting pictures of my girlfriend. On, could, I couldn't have seen that coming. Yeah, but but Boogie, Boogie thinks he's like I'm gonna fool. Them again, they won't think they'll, they'll, they'll just feel yeah, bad and they'll do what me. I want. No, nope. I, I went into a documentary about me lying so it improved people's view of me and it backfired. How could this have happened again? Oh, no, how, how, the, how did, did you watch that? Yeah, Clearly, I watched it never three times. It. I jacked off harder every time. You're going on fake job interviews and turning it into a fucking joke because you think you're too good to work. Like, you think you're a temporarily in- embarrassed famous person and the- that you just deserve free money. No, you obviously don't. not. Jesus Christ. Is that yes, really what you, you think? you obviously are entitled to... You think you're, so you're entitled to free shit, So you're fucking stupider than boogie. I think you are. Then you're dumber than you think I am. Are you out of your mind? I was homeless in the streets because I was So get a job it. like everybody else. <clears throat> you think that your YouTube celebrity entitles you to a life of luxury and easy living and it doesn't. I'm disabled dip by the state of Arkansas. You're disabled, disabled by, by the McDonald's. federal government. I can't stand up. My back's <laughs> fused together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. I did do it to myself. You're not wrong. I did. But it, the, the deed is done. My back's well, not going to yeah, start yeah. working tomorrow. I would tomorrow, like to say I'm a temporarily embarrassed. I'm not going to be able to <laughs> fucking walk around tomorrow. Don't mow his lawn, Dick. What are you asking Yeah, for? Boogie. You, <laughs> you were going to. You threatened to kill I mowed my lawn, bitch. $500. You have a grand. I mowed my <laughs> lawn, bitch. Your shit got mowed. Hold up. Boogie didn't get $500 to mow his lawn because I got paid for him to mow his lawn, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, yeah forget <laughs> I did it for the show, not for me. I did it for the I show. I mean, it's we funny, but it's, ways. yes, it's rewarding bullying people who are like you. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, so you think Vito is like me? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I mean, you guys are the same shape. I don't know. I, I don't think it goes any... I don't <laughs> How think it goes much of it is it just that. you hate fat people? Oh, it's a lot of it is I hate fat people. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> you guys are killing me, man. You're not wrong. I will say I did I got not... a basement full of fat skulls. That's going to be the cops finally busting <laughs> me. That's going to be. I, 
I will not shit. Uh, uh, I, I will not shit you. I did not steal the idea of Fat Watch from you. That's a pretty obvious f- name, right? Um, but I yeah. did start watching it afterwards, and yeah. I'll be honest with you. Some of these f- fat influencers, Jesus Christ, like when they die, I'm not f- surprised. Like my heart breaks a little bit when like Waffler died. Hold on, but no. I'm not who's fucking a, who's surprised. a fat influencer? Oh, like Tess Holiday. I think I need. Help. Body positivity oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. They're like, oh, we're fat and we're in charge. We love it. I thought we were talking about like Badland Chugs here. No, I'm talking about like, like Waffler69. That was the one that like personally f***ed me up because I don't use a lot of TikTok, but when I do, I like to follow comedians, dogs, and retarded people. And and Did, Didn't a bunch of them just die? Yeah, yeah. I made a video like listing off three of the biggest ones. Um, but Woo! Waffler was the one that like personally hit me the hardest because I like really enjoyed his content. He was a really nice guy. We followed each other on TikTok. And then he dies and like the last video that he did was like him eating a giant stale fruit loop and i'm like yeah obviously <laughs> man <laughs> obviously this is gonna kill you yeah and, and like there's the there's a certain amount of needing to hold that kind of responsible that needs they deserve to be done. it for promoting that i don't know audience. i don't know if bullying is going to change anything but i do think to at the end of the day some amount of accountability is important yeah yeah it's satisfying though because fat well, people he was held accountable <laughs> yeah, fat people are the only addiction that they like they're always at the top of their game when they're defending their addiction like if you bust like if you bust an alcoholic i'm drunk i can't defend my addiction but fat people are always they always have their wits about them to defend their you know <laughs> you really got to go yeah, the yeah they don't sell crack ain't on billboards <laughs> <though>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not turning on the fucking radio and, and hearing like, "Hey, would you like some crystal today? Come down to the Emporium." <laughs> I can't even go to like a dive. I have fat PTSD. If I ever go to like a Dodger game or something, I'm like, I no. There's going to be two big fat pigs on either side of me. Like, of course, there right is. now, of ruining course. the game, spilling all over everywhere. You know what I hate about fat people the most? What? The smell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, smell like like I, I'm a I, look here. I'm a 400 pound land monster. You smell. Do you have a scrubbing brush? I at least hit that shower at least once a day. At least don't give me that essential oils bullshit. Yeah. Don't tell me your hair needs to be sitting a certain way. Yeah, I agree. With you, you should never stop showering shower. like the Golden Gate Bridge and then painting it. Just start it over. Start washing once you're done. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of big dudes, and because they're heavier, they they neglect their their health they don't they they don't brush your teeth they don't shower yeah, mm-hmm. they don't do these things and it's like this is why people don't want to be around you not because you look like the f- stay puff marshmallow man you don't look like a can of busted biscuits they don't want to be around you because you smell like onions yeah Jordy, yeah. I will I will say in, in in your defense though Jordy, you were talking about like going to the gaming sh- shows and stuff and everybody stinks and Here's the thing: a lot of those people are skinny, and they still don't wash themselves. And it take it takes yeah. like twenty four hours for a fat guy to start stinking. I don't know how long it takes a hundred and ten pound weakling to start stinking, but you smell worse than I ever did on my worst day. It's wild. Some of these skinny ass motherfuckers smells like they died. Yeah, they could shell out four hundred dollars for like a statue of some anime character, but seven dollars for deodorants, that's a that's yeah. a no go. Well there's no shower in their mom's basement is I think the problem. Did, did, didn't they have to make a stink rule at, at those stinks? Magic the that, Gathering, uh, yes. Yes. You yeah, can get, be ejected yeah, from terms. You, it's you in the bylaws. Like, trying to trying to create this like trying to get me to one of these gaming conventions. I don't want to go I mean to a it's not convention. everybody. It's a good time. You'll have you a good what, you, time. You know what's not at gaming convention? Women. Oh no, there's so many women and they're all in cosplay. There is oh, there are no so way. many women and they're all in cosplay. Are you out of your f-ing mind? Oh, they're great. That's the whole point. Actually, I'm married. Oh, yeah, they're married. It's not like you're trying I'm to have ra- sex with anybody. There's plenty of women no, there. I, 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 I'm, I'm around. Yeah, I'm okay but, but well, the looking's for free. Yeah, Tommy. I'm okay with it. Looking's I, for I free. Have, I have one woman, and that's enough. You fucking so weird perverts are just gonna go to a con and stare at hot girls in cosplay. Is that what you? Is that okay? The plan? Number one, no, I ain't that. staring. But number so two, that's why they're there. They want they want people to notice. Like Desi's dressing up. They don't want you is, looking uh, at them. They want other people to notice. They're well. They're <laughs> bad news, motherfucker. That's the we're the only people there. Trust me. You're you're not gonna Non-consensual get Leonardo alluring. DiCaprio staring you down at these things. Okay, it's just gonna be losers like me. That's the point. Okay, yeah, you go. Have, you got this walrus with a mustard yeah. stain on yeah. his shirt. Maybe there will be a bear there that could ogle them. Yeah, so that is a thing. I think I don't know if we talked about it in the previous opposite episode, but right now on TikTok trending is people asking women, would you rather, if you're alone in the woods, would you rather meet a bear 
or a man alone yeah. in the woods. And they're, uh, most women are saying bear because social media has trained them to be so f- terrified of men yeah. that this is a thing. Oh, oh, God, a man. I'd rather have a bear eat my insides than have a man help me out of the woods. What the Let me remind you of how happened. sexy I am. Because in case you guys weren't ta- thinking about right now my hot, sexy body and getting your hands all over it, I couldn't even be in the woods with you because you'd Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, I wish it was a shark. There was this bear attack that happened in Russia a couple of years back. And uh, it was, the bear was huge. It's as big as a truck. And uh, they had to, authorities had to go shoot it. So after they shot the stupid thing, they found a pile of tracksuit legs. <laughs> Like full legs <laughs> in the barren pile oh, in Russia. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it too. It's like it's like two or three tracksuit legs still in the uh, the, the knockoff Adidas. <laughs> you, yeah, I think you'd want to meet Boogie in the woods after that. Uh, you do not want to meet me in the woods. Dude, if I met Boogie in the woods, I'd be. Wa- I'd wonder how the. F- yeah, I was about lost. to say if you meet me in the woods, I'm gonna be begging for a wheelchair. How the f- did I get out here? Did I get dropped from a plane? What is the scenario? How did that happen? Two. Hey, yeah. what happened? What happened to your last woods trip? Didn't you go out and do mushrooms and pretend to have like a big revelation about? I life did. I have a big revelation, and then the guy who gave it to me turned out to be a con man, <laughs> and uh, turns out I was uh, just as full of shit as everybody thought I was, and yeah. the guy then bashed in my uh, windows and painted oh, thief yeah. on my Through door. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wrote a ped file on your garage. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thief. That was real. <laughs> Yeah, that really, yeah, really What'd happened. What did you steal? 100%. Do what? What would you steal? Nothing. Oh. I paid him for his time, but then he got it into his mind that his services where he was here for like two days playing video games and he made like raw chicken was worth $137,000 somehow. Oh, and I'm, and well, I don't well, have. He was trying. He was trying to give you the value of your. He wanted cars. hundred. He wanted my entire I, magic collection. He wanted twenty seven thousand dollars plus an additional ten thousand dollars for damages or something. I don't know. He's just, you know, he's just a crazy person. Yeah, he's a that, fucking crazy person. Hey, Dick, I, I, I talked to that guy. He is nuts. Yeah, he is yeah, he's a nuts. As nuts as he taking appears to weirdos me. into the yeah. forest yeah. and getting yeah. them wasted and then <laughs> with their brains. No, <laughs> he's a weirdo. Yeah. He, he threw a air <laughs> conditioning through Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you get in like these such complicated relationships with that don't have boundaries uh, with people? You know, How does it, that happen to you? Well, he was it there. comes down to, yeah, probably, like, yeah. I think... You're too nice, right? No, I, I, I think I'm gullible. I think I'm gullible as fuck. too many motherfuckers. I think I'm just gullible as okay. shit. I think I'm desperate oh, yeah. and gullible. I think that's the two... And yeah. you, you know what the worst thing about you is you think everybody else is gullible, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I'd fall for this stupid shit. Crack can't come out the boogie's door. Hey, I need to take your car to the store. I'll bring it right back. Shit. Don't tempt me. You have to take me, though, you had so dude, we can be friends. You had one of my, you had one of Mike Clum's cameraman, cameraman living in your house beating his d- on your That's ass true. I had a, I, one of Mike Clum's cameramen stayed with me for two weeks because he's like, well, I'm homeless right now. And I'm like, all right, I have a spare room, whatever. You can stay there. I don't care. Uh, yeah. uh, that's I'm weird, telling you, man. dude. It's you men, it's women, it's whoever. I don't give a f- At the end of the day. If I wake up one day and somebody lights your house on fire. I will not be surprised. In fact, I, I mentioned this in the, in the Discord group chat. I now, because uh, the Flaming Star guy kept mentioning firebombing, he's like, I firebombed Boogie's house. Well, there yeah. was no fire involved, but that kept it in our minds for a while. We bought all brand new fire extinguishers, and now there's like three in the house. There's basically one in every easy-to-access area, <laughs> just in case. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Boogie, what rating are those fire extinguishers? I don't know. I didn't buy them. My roommate takes care of the house. The Y'all guy that this? Team Star so stole don't know the, the fire. You, you realize... You yeah. realize fire extinguishers have chemicals, and they do they do different types of fire. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm sure he got the one that was applicable for a, a, a crazy shaman burns down your house. He probably got that one. <laughs> he knew the assignment. Shaman. He's pretty, the guy's Italian. Yeah. Don't you still have that sake. gun? You probably now you actually need a gun. Uh, 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 for the state of Arkansas, I would like to remind you that I may or may not have a weapon, and if there is a weapon in the house, it is inside of a safe that I do not know the combination to. So don't worry about it. Okay. I got beat it out of you. Let me tell you, mm. I would. Make he's you opening himself up to get swatted again. Those numbers. <laughs> I'd beat the shit out of you, and you'd give me every goddamn number there was. Wait, what? Even if you didn't. Know I don't it. know the number. I genuinely <laughs> don't know the safe number. I'd get it out of you. I don't know. I'll, I'll just yeah. I'll keep giving you. you numbers until we f- and one of them works. I guess. So boogie, why were why were you so f- afraid of Frank Castle? <laughs> yeah. I was not. Yeah. You were going mean, to be the bully gun. hunter, right? That's how you were framing that. Like, <laughs> I'm going to stop bullying. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. 
Frank Hassel because he's the, bullying me, but you were two, asking for it the whole time. There's two answers, and neither are satisfactory, but I'll tell you the, the both answers, okay? The first of which is mental illness is a thing, man. I I felt uh, persecuted, and I built it into delusions a thing, and I was deluded. I deluded myself into thinking it was something far worse than it actually was, right? Um I, I know I've been a part of this. I remember the shaman. You were afraid he was going to firebomb your house and beat you up. I'm like, dude, yeah. this is a guy with yeah. cancer yeah. that spent most of his days in jail. He doesn't have a f car. He had to hitchhike to your house to firebomb. And secondly, yeah, that and secondly, sounds like well, bullshit, though. Well, like, yeah, you that's were taunting, what I'm saying. It's yeah. not a satisfying thing. I don't think he is. Yeah. And secondly, I wanted the opportunity. Like, I, I saw it as an opportunity to, like, stand up for myself and, like, be the bully hunter, just like you said. And I will say yeah. this. Frank, I, I mentioned it in the last – we tried to get you on the show, and I'll mention it again now. I know what you've done since then, son. I know oh what boy. you've done, right? And, and, oh, my Lord. Don't come up with this bullshit, Boogie. Nobody Boogie, thinks you're, you're a hard a ass. Fear. It doesn't matter as you long as he hears school, it. You school, and now you're still finding a way to blame Frank for it. <laughs> You're still <laughs> finding a way to. School. You're still you finding still a way to think manipulate that? people into Are you thinking that you're the good stupid guy. Stupid that you can't look at a map. I shot in the opposite direction of a school, and I'm not in a f school zone. Are you one of these dumb mother Man, that can't look at a map? I would have beat you. Also with a blank. Do you know that? To within an inch of your life, if you're busting shooting guns at my house. Why would I have a real bullet in this what are house? You a, what are you, a set director on Rust? You, Of course it was a real bullet. No one is buying the blank sh no, you no, shot blanks Dick, at Dick, fucking Dick. Dick. I literally Dick, just Dick, shot blanks at McJuggernuggets three months before. You, the idea Dick, of getting blanks for myself yeah. made sense, so I did. Go, go watch the video over again and listen to the audio. It's clearly yeah. it's a blank. It's just a yes. All right. Yeah, it is. All right, it I'll is. let that slide. No. Then why don't you shoot it at him if it was a blank? <laughs> no, because you can I don't know. I was calling the guy Sam. I don't know how my brain wasn't working that good that day. Yeah. His real name is Cameron, but I I, mean, I kept calling him Sam for some reason. I don't know why. See, why are you dead? Why are you dead naming him then? Why are you doing all this stuff? You're still trying I, like, to get yeah. at him. Like you're good. such a sneaky. F good, because yeah. I know what he's. Done and, and he deserves every bit of negativity I can and, throw and as soon as as soon as he's off probation, he starts yep. talking yeah. about yep. him like As soon as I legally could, baby, let's go. Did he con some uh, twenty year old woman into a, a relationship? Or I'll something? tell you off camera, but boy, it's gonna. Don't burn tell me. Your no, 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 no. I don't want people to think there's some kind of relationship that we're discussing, Frank. <laughs> off camera. I, I don't. I don't like this quasi boundary. I'll tell anybody Boogie. off camera. I'll tell anybody because I don't want to offend any third parties that are involved. I uh, yeah, I will yeah. tell anybody off camera, but I'll never. Well, you're tell still on. the good guy. I, 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 I'll, I'll try say to this. I, try I know to what he's yeah. talking about, and it's not that interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It isn't. I don't know if I believe it either. This yeah. lying and implying <laughs> boogie, it's tedious, man. Uh, that's all right. I I respect your free reason for feeling that way. I, I tell you what, you, you think he would? Uh, you, you think he would take the chance to dunk on boogie when he's accusing him of a love? But he didn't. He turned it down. He pussied out. In yeah. fairness. Oh, uh, coming on the show? I don't know if Boogie's telling the truth either. And I, he told me, and, and Wings is right, yeah. but he didn't show up. I think he's he too famous to for you guys now. He's on the Sam. Oh, he's definitely not that. <laughs> Maybe he right. definitely ain't that. Yeah. I know how much money he makes uh, right now. I, I trust me, he could use it. Do you, he know he's use a, more. do you know he's afraid to drive? And he had to like hitch a, hitch a ride over there because he's Castle? afraid to drive. Did you ever hear yeah, he's afraid. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, he's a weirdo yeah. too. He's, he should be afraid to drive, man. His whole content is His whole content is based... Yeah, his whole content is based around people being afraid of prison. Like, yeah. Like, it's going to take him right yeah. in, run into the right, right person to get his... You're kind of right, beat. actually, Wings. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah, every time he does a stupid sh you know, it's there's going to be a guy out there eventually. You know? Are you guys going to beat like him up? We him. saw your boxing skills. I don't oh, yeah. know if that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think Wings is saying it's him. <laughs> hey, hey, my boxing skills was immaculate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, compared to your opponent, it certainly was. Yeah, I was. You needed suspenders, Boogie, like uh, King Hippo. Yeah, yeah. We, so oh, we knew going great. into the fight that they they fit poorly, and I was like, part of me was kind of like no, hoping no. they would fall down. This, this is you being lazy, though, Boogie. This was straight you being lazy, because I go, Boogie, my sh I, <laughs> no, I, I did. We, I did. I went and got mine altered. It's just we didn't tie them tight enough, and by the time my gloves were on, I couldn't do mu that much about it, and I, I, I was not going to ask like the. <laughs> referee hey reach into my pants for me real quick so like yeah. if they fall down they fall down oh, oh so so the whole time you were sitting there while i did my <laughs> ring walk before your fight you couldn't have had your like your ring corner tie your I pants didn't, for I, you like i said i didn't care yeah. if they fell down it's not like i was gonna win the fight who cares 
Yeah, you probably it wanted like a breather. Lying. I'm sure, like, yeah. yeah everything I say I always to... sounds like lying. But at the end of the day, I walked into the ring knowing there was a chance they're going to fall down and it would be f***ing hilarious. It's not like I was going to win the fight. See, it's not I, like I had a chance. I, 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 I went into this way more thing because like, I literally went and had mine altered. I put them on. I had them altered again. I did actual exercises in them to make sure they wouldn't yeah. come down. Like, cause you're, I'm like, I'm going to have to move in these things and not like, I went into this, like really taking the fight. Seriously. I got my pants. Yeah. I like, got my back like, pants back from the tailor about eight o'clock the night before. And I'm like, well, this is what, this is what I'm getting. This is what I got. What I got. You didn't bother to try. You didn't bother to try. I did. Run. No, I did. And they fit pretty good as long as they were tied tight enough. They just didn't get tied tight enough the next time. Because okay. I even I wore boogie two and a half weeks before. I'm like I got my shit back. I told him my size. They got I had it to get wrong. mine Yours shipped to be England too. because he was have, they were so late getting them. I had to sh- have them shipped to the hotel. They ran out of fabric. No, no, no. In the they, US? Very few places make to... boxing gear for people that are landmines. So, <laughs> so, so we. Yeah, so I found yeah, a place a that we made found gear anybody. that wore our size, but they they <laughs> drastically <laughs> underestimated what those numbers meant. <laughs> I, I just wanted the I just wanted the box and a pair of champion shorts, honestly. But Keem wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> nah, you got to get the whole. You got to go the full. Mod, yeah. Man. yeah. Uh, I was buying Lederhosen in Germany with my friend, who's a fat guy, and they had to go. They had to go down in the basement. They found they found one dusty old pair for him. Dust this blue. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about it is we we did find the Thailand place, and and we got the largest possible sizes. And then they both showed up, and neither of them were big enough for either of us. Right? So, we, but we both had yeah, to have them let get, out. I couldn't get mine past yeah, my I knees, get my, much yeah, less my gut. So, like, even the place in the world that makes the largest possible boxing gears, tailor made, still couldn't get them on our fat ass. Mm. Yeah. Are you gonna fight again? Are you gonna fight Ethan Ralph? I thought you guys were talking about fighting I, again. I'm if he's willing to come into the country, it, I'll, it, I'll consider it. Oh, you consider Here's it. the thing with Ethan Ralph: he's he's, he's banned from so many yeah. countries. <laughs> So like you'd have to fight him in like London or something like that, and even then he every time no, he no he's not fight, banned in the U S. What are you talking about? He's no, he just seems it. to be afraid to come here for whatever reason. Oh, he may not be banned. He just I seems see. to be afraid to come here for some reason. I see. He keeps talking no. about it, but then never does it. Like Ralph was offered a contract, and like he always wants to up the money. Like he thinks he's worth like a hundred thousand dollars for a fight or something mm-hmm. like that. Well, I'm like, dude, you have a little stream on kick. I mean, Kino well, Casino pulls better yeah, numbers than uh, you. Well, Ralph doesn't have special. a good fighting record as it is. I imagine he wants to get <laughs> paid. <laughs> oh yeah, the mint salad. He wants to make sure he wants to make sure this ca- this knockout counts. <laughs> I don't know if winning that fight with mint salad would have gone better for him. Maybe if he'd have just come in and uh. cranked her one right across the face. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> lose, lose. The, the bad yes. thing about Ralph is like is like he'll come at you with all that pe- allegations and shit like that, and then you say something about him. I can't talk about that. Yeah, about yeah, that. it's really surprising because yeah, I'll mean, talk about he anything. He wants to come back in the he wants, baby mama in laws are in the country insane. Again. <laughs> yeah, did you see the his uh, his baby mama daddy um, Vickers is suing him for defamation in California or something like that? Oh, really? Yeah. I actually follow her on Twitter. She's actually really did, nice. Did, to didn't me. he uh, upload a sex video of her? She did. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, how much more can how much more can he defame her? No, the dad. Her dad is suing him for defamation of him. Oh, for the dad. He said, That's interesting. Oh. He must. I, he said something about you know someone got called. Uh, I think he said that they there was an incestuous mom or something. Apparently, according oh, to the God. lawsuit, I don't know. Jesus, good luck with that. He's been called a a woman beater by enough different women. I kind of believe it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, like getting accused once. All right, maybe I'll, uh, you know, no evidence. It's it's, it's like Michael Jackson. You figure he had had at least one of them, you know. (laughs) There's just too many. Well, here's the thing. Inviting little boys to your Wonderland shit is creepy to begin with. Macaulay Culkin fell out hard, and you got to wonder if it was Jacko. Off, you know what I'm saying, dude? The motherfucker got a I got a kid named Blanket. He's not yeah. right. Here. Oh, share your bed. Oh, share your bed. You want some more Jesus oh, juice before bed? Do. Oh Lord. <laughs> yeah, if if you walk away from Neverland Ranch and you know what Jesus juice is, you got molested. That's just how I feel. Mm. What is Jesus? It's, it was what he called wine. He would give them wine. And he called it Jesus juice. No, he would give kids oh, that, wine. That's what the yeah, accuser according to the, like, the court yeah, documents. That's what the accuser should, yeah. said. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah Macaulay the, Culkin pro- did an interview with uh, Red Letter Media, and he said he didn't get molested, but like, he did get wine. 
Oh. And Michael Jackson was very friendly to him and very amenable. The wine shit. He was bad. giving minors wine. Yeah, the wines were real he was bad. Giving... I know. I have a friend of mine that I think that bull that documentary on, on him is bullshit. But I'm pretty sure he. Oh yeah, those two guys um, that were just making up, getting. Yeah, they were full of shit. I, I got to be honest. Here. I think I, 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 I share your bed. With the boy. That was enough I, for me. Yeah. I'm, out, I'm out of the loop, but like, how, how did R. Kelly dodge prosecution for so long? He was making good Black records. People love him. <laughs> he stopped doing yeah. it. I mean, how did O.J. Simpson get away I mean, with it? Uh, yeah, he was, he was, he was getting Rodney touchdowns. <laughs> right, yeah, Rodney exactly. Yeah, but it all comes down to the fact that people don't really give a guilty or not. They give a shit whether or not you're talented. Right, like, at the end of the day, like, people turn a blind eye to, to uh, uh, Michael Jackson because he recorded black and white. He recorded... Thriller. I mean, you know, they're like, oh yeah, it might have, it might have been a couple of kids, but those, boy, those albums are a bop. Oh, he didn't f- kids. Listen to you talk, Michael Jackson. Yeah, so. Come on, no. You honestly think that? Do you honestly think that? Yeah, I, think I don't think he. Had, I don't think he had sex with any. I don't think he had kids. No. No, but do you think that he did something inappropriate? With uh, him? yeah. If he's giving him wine, that's inappropriate. Yeah, I don't think he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. he did anything sexual with him, though. You know, he did anything sexual. I, I wouldn't be surprised. You wouldn't be surprised. Who else yeah. are you going to defend? Like uh, Bill Cosby? Yeah. <sighs> Bill Cosby, man. <laughs> He's out of jail. <laughs> yeah. Is Bill Cosby out of jail? Yeah, he got out on a technicality. Weinstein yeah. didn't do anything. Now, that guy didn't do anything wrong. We can all agree on that. <laughs> that guy didn't do anything. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Cosby's been out of jail for a while. There's hope for Ethan Ralph. If Weinstein and Cosby are both out of jail, there's hope for Ethan. <laughs> Ethan can stay out, you know? You guys are sitting there. You're. Going after Rob. When he comes back in the stream, you're all going to be crying. No, because he showed what a one note pony is. At least, like, Dick has his disagreements, but at least he's entertaining. But Ralph, all he could do, uh, Ralph, you're uh, a pair. Uh, oh, I'm Ralph. I'm Ethan Ralph. I know one word. The word is. <laughs> like, he, he had no entertainment value. He'll never be back on the show because he was boring. I don't know. Everybody seems to like that stream the most. Yeah, man, you got it. He's great. Ralph would get on and just scream over anybody. When he was on, when he went on Leafy, yeah, he was like, "You show your ass for men on the internet. You show your ass for men on the internet. You show your ass for men on the internet." That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Wait a second, does Leafy show his ass for men on the internet? I have no idea. That's, that's fascinating. <laughs> he just, he just, does he get paid yeah. well for it? I, I will know. show my look. If you're willing to pay, Dick, I will show you my asshole. That's just how it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I got twenty bucks. I don't want to look we, at we it. We can both look at it for the first time because I've never seen my asshole either. In fairness, I, I would rather see. I rather see. I rather watch Ralph debate that style than any of those jackasses on bed too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just screaming, call everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's got such a sing song quality when Ralph calls somebody up. <laughs> he surely does. It's like I'm in church. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I didn't like it for a long time either, but I learned to appreciate him. <laughs> so Dick, I, you you went on my old podcast a couple times and you got you got the rundown about me. So what is your opinion of me as of today? I got no rundown on you. Um I don't know what you I don't know how you got I you, I didn't even know if you left or got kicked off of that show. Uh it seems like a pretty gig, so not about not about the separation, but like I've, I've seen clips of you like making fun of me on the yeah. show. And I was asking what your opinion of me is today coming into this show, not yeah, after yeah. the show. Uh, yeah, you pussy. No, you're not going to say it to yeah. my face. Yeah, I, man, honestly, I'm I'm in so many fights with people. It's kind of hard to you have to jog my memory a little <laughs> sort bit. Sort them all out. Like I, I say a lot of me every day. Um, yours, I probably don't even remember. Uh, I, you guys always seem like you're trying to. Uh, put off this uh this image of yourselves like you're good guys and that i'm really suspicious of i remember i think you were talking about the you. coloring books you buy for for uh for kids for poor kids or something was i making fun of that no i, I gotta stick up for he really did that he really he really did that no i i wouldn't have believed that either he really no, did I, that, I believe it i just think it's funny like oh wow cool <laughs> cool <laughs> books the kids love really love books man thanks a lot for this <laughs> Yeah, no, it was book bags. It was book bags. Maybe it's a book about food. I could read it. Uh, <laughs> it's just a funny charity to be bragging about. It is a funny charity. Yeah. No, no, no. He, 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 that, that, that was actually more keeps. I do that every yeah. year. I've done that. Mm. I'll do it again this year. Yeah. Like during the holiday season, I usually, I usually like give. I usually do like nursing home gifts, and I, uh, I yeah. usually do like a charity for like children, like book bags, and yeah. then I work with like a local church, and we do we give food away and stuff like that. Yeah. Did anybody in any those events, did any kid ever, Call of Duty kid ever walk up to you? Oh, you know, I, I grew up watching you or like that. No, I mean, like, I'm I'm friends season seven at this point in my life. Like, I'm more famous mm. for the stop sign meme than I am for Call of Duty to, like, the youngins. Mm. Uh, I was wondering. 
You have a 30 yeah, year old come up to you and say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do have 30 year olds <laughs> yeah. come up to me and say, yeah, I have that. It's like when I got my Mustang, everybody's like, oh, you're going to get a with your Mustang? I'm like, no, you get a lot of old I men. I was in Germany in the Army. I, I would have been your biggest fan, Wings, if I had caught you on the Prime Day. I had, to, I, had to go, I, had to, I had to watch all your videos and stuff. I really appreciate you. And I, I just happened to be there in 2017 when the trolls really started getting at you. You know, every day I wake up, Tommy, I think, how did camping in Call of Duty turn into f this? You. That's how it happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which you. one of you gets more sh online? I mean, both of you have to deal with all these trolls. Uh, I, have, I have way more vicious trolls, you but do. I think yeah, Boogie I... gets more shit as a total. Mm. The people that come after me are generally just like, oh, I think he's a piece of sh oh, Now I'm going to go do human things. But Jordy just has people who do nothing but hate him. <laughs> hey Dick, you want, Dick, you want me to watch? You want, you want to see me piss these two off? Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Yeah, I get trolls too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're really do mean you? to me do too, it? and I'm do always you? crying do about you? it and making it worse for myself. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just, I, I answer every <laughs> Twitter. I go on and on like that, and then I and I, and I cry to Keem, and then I I do all that stuff. <laughs> Believe me, I just I just don't show it. You know? Why do you guys hey, react like that? At least like I'm that? better than yeah, Boogie. Yeah. I'm better than Boogie. I cried I cried to you, Tommy. <laughs> Boogie goes out on Twitter. I mean, I don't, again, at the end of the day, I don't know, Dix probably has not noticed much of a difference, but uh, the way I handle No, because you blocked me. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which was smart. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you, again, you have an obsessive personality, I think, and like, once you become obsessed with Oh, yeah, with the somebody, world revolves around you, Boogie. It's so, it's just... <laughs> uh, apparently, the world revolves around Maddox, uh, as far as I can tell. Ah! Uh, yeah! Like, holy uh, shit, dude, did you fall... Like, you can talk... No, for real, for real, you can talk about me falling on my own sword. I can't even spend all my money. I'm so busy thinking you about You can YouTube. talk about me falling on my own sword as much as you want, but no one... No one has done it as splendidly as well as you have with your obsession with Maddox. Why yeah, couldn't you let Maddox. that shit? Who did you it's beat? Still, he's <laughs> not, in his own mind, he hasn't beat him because yeah. he still talks about this shit. Brought him up today, Boy. I think. Boogie, I'm not, I'm not reverse mortgaging my house to Keemstar, okay? <laughs> I think I know you more than like, about like, making take, content Take one online. piece of criticism, <laughs> if you can. Let the Maddox <laughs> Go now. Let it go, man. No, he just made a five years in the making, three hour and documentary about me, and you think I need to let it go? Yeah, I think you do too. I think both of y'all should. But here's the thing: Maddox is never going to, cause he's, he's out a of his mind. Lunatic. Yeah. yeah. So I'll make fun of him. Well, that's how we. Well, that's how we deal well, with. Everybody's got somebody like Maddox in their life. They like watching. If him you get ever him. stop making fun of Maddox, I will stop never. listening tomorrow. No, I never. Well, will. I just sometimes. <laughs> too fucking goofy. Sometimes I think you could have done way better you had get you off let telling him go. me how to act around people who are trying to f up my life. Look, I you. look. I experienced it, and I've, one of the things I've very few things I've learned is to Why don't let you switch it to diet. Go. Let it go. We're not the same. My, I, I'm not this like mentally fragile person looking for meaning and looking for help, looking for like desperately looking for friends in their life. I'm not oh, like you. Yeah, I don't yeah, need to weird. let this go for my mental no, health. No, no, you're wrong about that. He doesn't want any friends. <laughs> you're wrong about that. He still you're makes. Like, fun oh, sorry, of me you want roommates? Yeah, yeah. No, he yeah. doesn't want anything. Believe me, that's an old big guy. I, I, I asked him if he wanted to play Apex, and he makes fun of me. Of if I want, if I wanted what? Like, oh yeah. If I wanted what? I, I asked you one time, so maybe we should like try to like uh, get some synergy going and get to know each other. Yeah, no, Tommy, I want friends, and I have plenty of them. I just don't want you to be that close to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. At the gathering, which is a luxury cardboard game, and so they all got money. They all got money. I saw the documentary, and you buy them all snacks, and you're the occasionally, yeah. Guy. When I host, I do buy snacks, but you know, people we rotate. You know, people. You're trying to tell me that dudes in that mm -hmm. documentary got money? They can't afford face cream? <laughs> I, again, nerds generally have money because they're smart, <laughs> they're successful at what they do. No, they not. just don't take care of themselves. No, they're not. Oh, my God. All the nerds I know are making big... Of course, again, again, most of my friends work at Walmart corporate, so that I hope that makes sense. There's a <laughs> shitload wow. of money to be made here. <laughs> Making that big yeah, Wally Walmart world money. corporate wow. don't f around, dude. They, I mean, like starting pay yeah. is like a hundred k. You starting pay, and you can like smell however you want. I guess working at Walmart. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, if you f like one of my friends, <laughs> what he does is he's in charge of the refrigeration section, and in like in every Walmart, it's like wired in. They're connected to the internet, and so he has to sit there and watch the f refrigeration section and make sure he like gets on top of it, and if it like 
gets out of the way. So he's get paid he's making to sit in a now. shitty dark room and stare at these fucking computers waiting for a refrigerator to break. They don't give a f that guy smells like. They just pay him $100,000 to make sure their food doesn't go to sh Staring at a fridge all day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's a, you know, a computer screen. It gets paid $100,000 because there's high I don't know. The guy's been doing it. has been doing it for a long ass time, but... You know, you know what you get paid the most for in a factory boogie? Firewatch. You know why? Because nobody wants to do Firewatch. What is Firewatch? Firewatch is when everybody else needs to go home and your wives. You sit there oh, and make sure nothing catches on fire. Oh, my God. I know somebody who does that. I can't. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't say it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Does the fridge watcher have any advice for me on handling my online? <laughs> well, my friend, he's not online. He doesn't do online shit. He's not interested in that shit. Oh, okay. He's a nerd. What, what do you expect? Yeah. I, I, I just I just doubted that his friends had lots yeah, of friends. Yeah, me too. I still doubt it. Yeah. Uh, well, they, the, most of my friends do pretty good, man. I, I'm, I'm a hell of a lot better than I ever did. I want to say this to Dick, though. Like, I know you don't want to stop talking about Maddox, but if you did, you'd automatically win. Exactly. Maddox has such you guys are retarded like oh, you're on you're the sh this show is called lol cow show you guys have bad judgment like when with everything you do and you're telling me who is successful and stop not talking about maddox the, the, yeah. you know, the thing that gets you the most laughs stop doing the thing that has made you millions of dollars oh, do you, you know? think that's why you're making millions of dollars is because you rag on maddox it's because of the way i do it but it's certainly part yeah. of it you don't People think you like don't think you could rag about something else so, are you giving maddox credit right now well giving you Making me a little bit yeah, of money. I mean, go. I don't know. That's Boogie, how, my, how far you want this beef to go? <laughs> hey, Stern, stop making fun of Imus. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so precious about protecting yeah, was your butt it you? buddy no, Maddox? I, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, we talked about this while Vito was on, and Vito agrees. Like, maybe it's fucking tired at this point. Eight, the guy ten with years. no bathroom door also agrees with you? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you got you there, Boogie. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> You guys got so much advice for other people, you know. You yeah, I know too. That. It's always, oh, this is what you should do. Uh, Not thanks. I'm, I'm I mean, doing I'll be honest. I'll be. I, I will be genuine with you if I can. I do feel bad for Maddox because having spent some time around him, I don't. I don't think his brain works so good. And he think, well, yeah, And at the end of the day, like, yeah. I, if I'm looking down at someone, if I'm like, man, how do you function? If I look down at you, you probably need some serious help because i barely function can i get some questions about maddox you guys I, belong somebody. together you bro you both think you're better than the other one i mean, that might be yeah it's, it's probably fair yeah yeah go for I, it no, I, I, I have some serious questions about that yeah, something I, yeah. i've always wanted to ask yeah. um and they're not they're not like bullshit questions okay. when you guys were together i mean like this couldn't have happened overnight i mean he used to be fun would you call him a bro was he your best friend like how did how did, it, how did what we see now happen was it or did you just miss all the signs because you were making money no we were we were friends we were close friends um and then when we started doing the show after every podcast i would get even episode one i got like a, an entire page of notes uh from him on uh, uh things like i need to stop interrupting and I need to stop. Like, there are all these things I need to stop doing. Um, yeah. Or else that was would... the first day. Yeah, that was the first. That was day one. As the show took off and I became more popular, uh, I think the, the notes got more. Yeah. He got more and more critical. Like, you're turning off all the women of the show. And then he started, he started like, reducing the prices of the episode because um, I, I think he was tired of it. He wanted it to fail. So he was kind of sabotaging it internally. But our relationship was uh, ir irrecoverably, irreversibly uh, uh, destroyed uh, on on the show because of the but show. But I, but I'm I'm more interested in what happened before that. Like you didn't see any of these signs. Like like he, all of a sudden he's saying you're chasing all the women off. Didn't you guys go out drinking? Didn't you go? I mean, I imagine you're both single men in L. A. Like, you mean, did, did I see, see the signs or did he see the yeah. signs? You. Do you did you see the signs? The guy's a douchebag. I mean, I would have saw it. I think day one. Well, I mean. Man, I don't, I don't know if I really judge my friends that, uh, that critically. I do. Yeah, I, I do. I don't want to end up like you. <laughs> I like get <laughs> over on the show. I judge everybody. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to ask how to make the millions. I'll, I'll, I'll happily end up like yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, it was. We we made good content together. Like we yeah. made, we pitched a couple shows. They worked. But I mean, I I have a pretty big, uh, I have a pretty big boundary between even friends. So oh, okay. what we did together was was fine. Um, Did you talk about anything personal ever? Did you like talk about it like a hard time and, and I don't and, like, know, man. I'm not really uh, I'm not that kind not of like, guy. Oh, so you're not I, like I that good to begin with. All right. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't really. Uh, I don't. I'm really not. Cri- I'm not criticizing think anything there. To be honest. No, no. Um, but you wouldn't. You like. You would have never told him something like. Uh, you know, when as a kid, this horrible thing happened and changed me or something no, like that. You, no, no. you never had that kind of conversation. Never, okay. no. Yeah. No, I, would, I don't have those types of conversations. Okay, f- f- fair enough. I just Because, you know, I figure you work with somebody that long that, that you would have a conversation like that eventually. But, no, uh, I didn't have any trauma in my life, though. So, no, well, lucky you. You, know. you never got so shit-faced drunk while you're drinking and driving and just something up and be like, shit. How am I going to get yeah. out of this? I mean, I crashed my... I was doing donuts and destroyed my car. Um... But that's not trauma to you, though. Not really. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I'm, a red, I'm too I, much of a yeah. redneck. I name my cars and love. He them. He gives <laughs> trauma. He doesn't take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah. That's so funny. I'm such yeah. of a baby back bitch. I, when I sold my truck, I cried about it because it felt like it, a family it, member. Yeah, I <laughs> did. I I did know him enough to see. I knew he would wig out but not this yeah. bad i would have never predicted i would have never predicted that i'd still be talking about that retard uh yeah no when later. you when you stole his ex-girlfriend a year after the fact right you didn't see that coming because he doesn't seem very i mean i would i, I feel like i thought he would yeah. throw acid in our face yeah. um you <laughs> oh know, you didn't care so when you stole we the girl a secret when you take when you took the girl you just were you know you 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 were aware that once this came out, it was going to be a huge problem. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, okay. well, if he okay. finds out about this, this is going to be it's it'll be the end of the show. I, and I it sure was, yeah, yeah. and it was, and yeah, it, it was. was. But yeah. I thought that would be kind of the end. I didn't think he'd be making these weird videos, like video after video about me, hoping that this is the one that destroys. Yeah, this is the me. one that makes everybody hate you. It's so obvious. It's like so. Yeah. It's so like transparent. And like it, he doesn't see. It. He got a. He started yelling at me because um, I, I watched like five minutes of video, and it was like. Like I read Mind Kampf in English, and mm. it's all like poor me, like from the beginning to the end. It's like all these horrible things that happen to me, you know. And it's because of this, so that, the cover's and the other not thing. Lying. That's like, like no, no. It's like it's like listening to him is like the same thing. It's like wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it is. This is what I like about this show because if that happened, that what happened to you and Maddox happened like Boogie and Tommy, like like Tommy stole Desi and left his wife. <laughs> this show gets kicked into Ultra Vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now we're millionaires. All these, all these notes that you keep sending me, you should be reading this on the show because it's funny. Like all of these yeah. conflicts, yeah. and we would, the conflicts outside of the show would just get so bad that the resentment, the resentment would ended up ruining the show anyway. I think. Uh, but every time I was like, man, you you really should bring these onto the show. This is what this is the kind of shit people right, want. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Everyone knows you're crazy. Uh, bring it on. At least like, just tell the truth to people, which I think would have helped him with the girl. The uh, the ex-girlfriend too. If he had just come out and said, "Yeah, you know, he started dating my ex, and I couldn't handle it. I can't handle it." How does it. he make money now? How does he make money? I don't know. Then he have like re- residuals from books. Plus, probably. I think he's got like not that many. I, like everybody has their parasocial whales, right? There's, there's probably somebody out there just still gives them money. I can I, I got to admit, I own every Maddox book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seem like the target demographic. Yeah. 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 I, no, I loved Maddox when I grew up. Like I used to, yeah, I used to did. get off work. At, and I would read the greatest page in the universe, and then he stopped doing that forever. And then a book came out, The Alphabet of Manliness. I'm like, well, fuck it, I'll buy this. And then a lot of it was like the same content you would get on his website. Mm-hmm. So it was like, eh, it was let like me, 40% percent Let me, let me ask content. you because I, I, I didn't know about Maddox or, or, or Dick until after all this. And I got turned on to Dick through with Justin Wang video. So he was the, the he was, he presented himself as like a, a, a ultra masculine yeah. at one point. Yeah. Yeah, ultra, ultra masculine pirate. Was that was, was that like funny everybody. because he's not he's anything he was but? Satirical. We thought it was, oh, it was funny, satirical. but I don't know yeah. what he thinks. Like he he also did this. He's his his joke was that pretending like child abuse is funny. Like you should beat kids <laughs> and they and kids are suck at everything. And we all thought, yeah, that's funny. Like that's you know, funny. it's cathartic. Then, but then he yeah. turned it into this weird like life. He he turned it into like a oh, teaching God. moment where he's like, yeah, that's why you really should. Uh, judge children as adults because then they'll learn. Oh to my act. God. Like, Man, you don't know anything <laughs> about kids. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Yeah. Uh, it's it, it, he was he got stuck in this like comedians who want to be respected. Like everybody wants to be yeah. George Carlin all of a sudden. Um, mm-hmm. I think it it just killed his it killed his sense of humor. Yeah, but George Carlin, like, I mean, you know, he's a street. He's you know, he's Irish American, like New York street guy. He never lost that, even though he took on like serious issues and stuff like that. He never yeah. lost. Is sort of a street vibe to him, 
He also had yeah, like experience with the world. Maddox has experience yeah, like playing Candy Crush and riding his yeah. bicycle to Starbucks to hit yeah. on the barista. Yeah, he was in the army, did did a bunch of drugs, did the whole sixties thing. Yeah, he's got a lot of stories. Like there, back in the know? day, I read the page as well. Air and Force. I genuinely like back then a lot of the internet was just like, Oh my god, I can't believe you'd say something so awful, right? And I think Maddox was writing it for that audience, right? Like you're supposed to not yeah. take it serious. Um yeah. and, and I guess he was always kind of left, but he tried to do the the I write right wing content and now I want to move left and that never works. You can't do that. Never. You no. can go you can go right to left. You cannot go left to right. You cannot go left. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's literally impossible. You can't go right. I, and to when left. I say left to right, like I don't think I don't think like Dick's a right wing guy, you know. But he you probably probably appeals to them. So I don't think Dick could show. Like he would end up just like mad if he just showed up and said, you know, I think I've been rough on women over the years. And I, I, when I see the Doctor <laughs> Phil thing, I really get upset. It, it keeps me up at night. It's so cringe. That's yeah. the end of Dick. You know. Yeah. Well, Maddox did that cuck video where he said, actually, yeah. it's there's nothing inherently wrong with being a cuck. Yeah, that's a got, that's a game oh, ender. That was what? for anybody. Yeah, he, you, really he, used... he was better off saying he was gay. You know, because people, you know, like like at least like, you can like, still I, be a top. I, if you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one way to live. Shit like yeah. Vito probably watched that and cringe. God damn. Well, it, was, it was bad. I think there's still people leaving comments on it calling him gay. Well, the Dr. Phil, the Dr. Phil thing was better than Maddox being on bullshit. Did you guys see Maddox? Oh, on I forgot oh, that about bad, that. Man. On the uh, yeah, Penn and he, Teller show? He, he, he was like on trash. that? Yeah, he looked like trash on it, too. Oh, well, yeah, oh, I really? love that show, but he looked terrible on it. Yeah. Did uh, Penn did did Penn take him down or something? What happened? I never. They I, made I him look like a they, loser because he oh, hates yeah. old people. He, uh, he looked like an incel that lived in his mother's yeah. basement. Yeah, like he even had the yeah. camera angle and the lighting to make him look evil. It would have been a joke back then, right? You said it was like a joke. It was a it, joke. It was a joke. It was satirical. He treated yeah. it seriously. Well, it made it look though. real. Yeah, like Maddox was treating yeah. it like a serious interview when they interviewed him. So he was a comedian that believed his jokes were real. Yeah. What an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> He, he threatened me. He said, I'll never watch your content again. You won't watch mine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, at the end of the day, I, I think Maddox has a lot in common with Dark Side Phil. I think both of them. Like, yes. Th th That's a really good yeah, comparison. I'm going to be honest like, with you. The thing that makes me and Jordy a little bit different is that we know we're insufferable ads, right? Um, and, mm -hmm. and we're uncomfortable mm -hmm. being on a show where the entire joke is we're uncomfortable. We're uh, uh, worthless ads. But Maddox can't accept that about himself. Yeah, but you know, one thing I did, like, like, but yeah, like for whatever reason, me and you don't get yeah. along all the time. I could talk to you forever. You're a conversationalist. And Wings is a bro. Yeah. You know, like, I, like, he reminds me of some of the guys I knew down south when I lived down in, um, where the fuck was in Georgia. You know, he reminds me a lot of those. And they were cool guys. You go have beers with them or Waffle House or something like that. With, like, Dark Side Phil. Or, I'm you know, a toxic I, mother. No, you're not. It's just funny. <laughs> But, Why uh, did you get? Oh yeah, sorry. I don't want to interrupt your your thoughts. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, but like, Dark Side Phil or, or Maddox, like, like, who would ever want to be around them? I mean, like, you're, you're constantly getting what noted, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh god. I mean, in what a really a party. condescending way too. I was, I, I read his emails on the bonus episode. They're just like insufferable. Uh, but the content was good, though. so. You know. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess right. Yeah. <laughs> you really, if there is a god, they set you two up just to <laughs> his life up. <laughs> yeah. He doxed Maddox. Maddox doxed five thousand people. He took all the names of the people that were in our old fan group, and yeah. he's angry at them for listening to my show. I guess so. He made a website. Ooh. He took the original biggest problem the universe dot com website and put a bunch of SS logos and called them all. Uh, Reporters wow. and just, it's fucking bro. Go to this and he lists them all by name to f their Google shit, right? So when Wiggs, you, you like them, this guy, Wiggs? What the f is the matter with yeah, you? Go to, you told go me to this the, guy. No, 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 no. I watched Maddox when I was like sixteen to like twenty-two. When Maddox yeah. was actually writing on his website, like even if you don't like, like Dick, outside, how do you not take his out, side? Outside I mean, looking, like, even outside looking in. Like Maddox just disappeared from the internet from like the layman, like people that act that casually followed his content. Like once he started writing the books, he disappeared. I didn't know where the fuck to find him. Yeah, I, I posted I've seen the link in there. It looks like a yeah. World War Two memorial. All the names of these people. Like I'm seeing a lot of like residuals, like like Maddox and like angry video game. Nerd. Oh my like, god, he put their picture in there too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. See, he's he a psycho. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. Are you in there? <laughs> Control F Masters. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it on. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> you know, Dick, I'm gonna take back hey, what I, I said. Never let it go. I, I gotta. I gotta admit. Yeah, never let it go. If you go down to like meet the hate mob, these dudes look just like my fucking Discord hate group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy! Look at this guy's yeah. insane! Yeah. One of these dudes yeah. would like pay a hundred dollars yeah. just to smell pussy. Yeah. What an animal. There's a thing at the top of the page where you can oh, where yeah. you can randomly generate a quote yeah. and these are hysterical. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I don't know what I mean he doesn't even have like I've said way worse stuff than what he clipped for this site. Yeah, most um, of these are just funny. I don't yeah, they're all just jokes that I guess he's take, pretending to take seriously, thinking other people yeah. will also pretend. It's I mean, it's like none of these jokes fly in 2024, but 20, 2013 is gold. Dick, do you think this guy was talented? Or I mean, be honest, did you hook up with him because he had a platform? Or like, is he a talented guy? Daxi Pad's bad poetry he's corner. He's got some, he, ha, he has comedy in there, or he did I mean, 10 years ago. He's, uh, he's a different person than he was. Because like Wings, I know Wings. Wings is like a funny guy. He's a really funny guy. So if he had no sense of humor, yeah. this guy has no sense of humor, from what I can see here. No, he's lost. He's lost. Yeah, him. He's he's, been, this, this must he's be. Yeah, he's, he's obviously mentally ill. Boogie was right for a change. Congratulations, Batso. Yeah, <laughs> I got a question. This this is a co this is a completely off topic, but this Nick Rakita guy, like, what's up with him lately? Like, he's looked like he's on drugs. Is, does he does he look like that now? I, I mean, it looked like he was having kind of a rough time, but I haven't. Uh... I no, no dude, like, he looks like he's on death's door now. Like, he looks like he's losing a fight to, like, addiction. Because he's losing and, like, weight? Cancer. Is that... Yeah, I know you yeah, can like, well, see it, that. He's, he's lost a lot of weight. Oh, really? I don't know. Uh, I don't you, know. So you don't, you're not keeping up with him. Okay, so... I don't keep up with him, but I know, like, whatever he predicts is going to be wrong. I like I like Nick Riccata. I do enjoy his content from time to time. But I remember the whole Tonka. Tonka! What, Tonka's what, what, getting Tommy, sued. Tonka's getting sued. No, he's not. And then that, that, that anime guy, voice guy he tried to save, that guy lost. You know, when 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 oh, Nick sucks. predicts something, it's sure not to come true. I, I always hear talk about he's how he's you know. I think I've just heard too much that he's he's uh, on death's door. He looks oh, really? cracked out because then every time I go look, oh, that's I'm like, not ah, cool. That's, he doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That dude, that's I didn't I didn't hear it. I just looked at it from like videos. Like, dude, this guy looks like he's on some fucked. He looks like he's on like pain pills, and they like he's constantly going through the throes of like that oh. that withdrawal from them. I don't know, man. That's a he's got. Yeah, like my a grandmother family. used to sell pain pills and shit like that, and I, I'd watch yeah. people go through those withdrawals all the time. Like they'd be coming in and they they would take like a handful of Dilaudid and they would smash them up mm. on the counter and they would sniff them like I was crazy, son. It's like, I'm just, Lord, like you just did a hundred dollars in one rip. I'm, I'm looking. I can't. I can't stop looking at like this. You walk me through that again. I can't stop looking at this list. I'll be honest with you because I'm looking at this list from my perspective. I'm like. These people gave him money. Like, this is like, wow, look at all the money here that he's pissing away. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he's too good for it, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you if you email him, he said, and if you email him and, and like, apologize yeah. and say that you don't like yeah. me, he'll take your name off the list. So now people are emailing him and, like, mm. them, like, oh, can you take my name? I hate Dick. Can you take my name off the list? He, so he these. still keeps the list. He still keeps the site up. Yeah, he's updating it. You know, this is his life's work. <laughs> is, um, so uh, m m the worst part about this is he probably pays for the bandwidth for this. I, I, let's do here. let's do that old yeah. two bar thing. He has to take like a Jack Mehoff off and then and, and stand up an alcoholic. <laughs> see, if he, see if he falls for it. You were going to say something, Dick, about me saying that PK th says I'm the toxic friend. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you uh, aren't on that show anymore. Uh, I, I was going to ask that, but you know, I, do. I don't know. You guys um, probably have talked about it. 2013, um, we had these machinima contracts that were super lucrative. Um, you got paid for everything, and like everybody was making money and, except machinima. So machinima decided to turn that faucet off, and my money just I went from making you know between six to twelve thousand dollars a month to making three, right? Mm. And like my life was at six to twelve thousand dollars a month, so I had to like do a fire sale on like everything I had, like you know. Hey, mommy, you know that cell phone I've been paying for you? That's that's going off, you know, shit like that. 
and I went really, really depressed about it, right? Like I, I went through a year long depression and um, we were planning this trip to go out in Yawari National Forest, which is here in North Carolina and do like the survivor man thing. Mm. And I was supposed to go to this FPS boot camp, which I did, and it went poorly. And then after that, I, the, I was get a personal trainer and like get trained up and like this. And I did very poorly on that too. Surprise, surprise. And I backed out of the trip like two days before. We spent it was all that to money. And, like, <laughs> I, 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 actually, I, I spent the money. They spent money on you, and you walked out on them. Oh, you flagged. Yeah. No, they didn't spend. I no thought they spent money on. Like, what? Well, I went and lived at Kyle's house. I mean, like, uh, the, Kyle got all his money back through like the fans. Like, if anybody yeah, bitching at you fans, for like, flaking out on them, that's how you get the money back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they get and like, I was going through a really depressed part of my life. I was trying to find ways to like get myself out of this funk, and yeah. it just didn't work. Instead of being bros and like trying to pick me up, they're like, well. Because it never worked. Because it never worked. Which part was that, Wings? <laughs> what, re, re, restate your question, Tommy. I, I, I don't understand what you're asking me. When, when were you not in a funk? I guess let me just put it on. Uh, uh, I'm actually not in a funk no. right now. Like, like you've never met me in the funk. Like, right, I, I right? keep telling people he's really cool. And like, that's disappointing. <laughs> <'Cause> like, uh, <laughs> like, when I was depressed, I was just trying to do things to make myself feel yeah. better. And like, like, you like know, I was fucking over broke. Woody. I mean, <laughs> 2014, I made $9,000 that year. The entire year, nine grand. Yeah. It's a rough And year. like, yeah. I was living on my savings and, and all this other stuff. And it's like, uh, and then they kicked me off the show because I didn't go to this trip and that I wanted to like, I was, I had bad sleep patterns and stuff like that. I was just depressed. Fucking okay. depressed. Yeah. And now I lose another form of income. So you would you would you flake on shows or? Well, I would ask. Like, I wouldn't so much. It? I wish wouldn't so much flake, but I would ask him to do it another day. Like we would record on Thursdays, oh. and I'd be like, "Hey, man, I can't do Thursday's day. I yeah. need. Can we do Friday? Because you're depressed. That yeah. would drive Keemstar crazy yeah. if he started doing. Oh that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, always that, that to will start. kill the show <laughs> if you do that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, because you went because you went to a concert. That's what you were doing instead of recording. Yeah, like I, like like a girl wanted to go to a concert, and this is only like three or four opportunities. It wasn't every week. It was like three yeah, or four times okay. in a year. Uh, but they used it against me. But like I like I went to a concert with a girl that happened to be on that Thursday that we were recording, and I gave him a week ahead. Like, yo, this Thursday, I really want to go to this concert with this girl, and can we possibly do it Friday or Saturday? And Woody's like, oh no, you got to show up to work. And I'm like, work? I don't get paid for this. You know, this is before the show got paid, and and he yeah. goes, well, you, well, I can't, we can't redo this because we got stuff to do. And I'm like, okay, well, look at it this way, I'm not showing up Thursday. This is me letting you know. But that's that's the okay. way I kind of handled it, and like he didn't like that's that. That's one way to handle it, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I could see that not going well. And like, um, and then I didn't show up with the camping trip, so they decided to vote me off. Off the island. <laughs> You're off the island. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the worst part about this is I was begging them the entire year since I was making no money the entire year. Like, yeah. let's monetize the show. Please, let's monetize the show. It would really help me out. And as soon as they kicked me off, they paid Lefty 10 grand to leave and they monetize the show. And then they bring yeah, Taylor on. That happened to me when I get kid, when I left baited. So don't feel yeah. too bad. <laughs> and it's like, it's like you mother dog. Like, were you ever my friend? <laughs> and then they did the whole spill. I'm this toxic person. Like I'm a toxic friend that only sucks the joy yeah, out of the Yeah, you're all depressed all the time. They weren't I'm wrong. Like, I've, I've, yeah, you're kind of yeah, like he back seems then. seems so <laughs> jovial at the time, Jordy. <laughs> I was depressed, but at the same time, like this, this, this was a seven-year relationship. If I was fine the first six, you years, became a and pain in the ass the after a year. while. You wore on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. But extend. You're, these guys claim to be your friend. Yeah, but that only goes so like far. Friend. Let's you're, be honest. Like a, come on. <laughs> uh, Tommy, if you went into a depression, I would give you more than a year. Fuck, uh, I can take care of my. I mean, it's it is. I will be honest. Being about your life all the time is fun. I don't know if you can rely on internet people. Like I enjoy it quite Ill. a bit. Yeah, it, keep, it, it keeps you in that mindset. That's why I didn't really make videos of loserdom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> loserdom. For, for at the time, it brought me immense joy 
to complain constantly. Now, not so much. Uh, and I feel like I have less and less to complain about all the time because I think the show has toughened everybody up involved. You're banging you know, a twenty year old. You shouldn't claim that anything. Yeah, she's twenty one. She's almost. <laughs> Were you threatening to jump off a bridge like last week, though, Boogie? Was I? I don't know. Weren't you like talk? Weren't you nah. saying some? Uh, I'm not going to be around anymore. Stuff. Oh no, I was like, oh, I was freaking out because like crazy getting out of jail and I'm afraid that crazy is going to like show up and stuff. And so, like, I, I was, I was aware that I have a pattern. I, like, I have to get off the internet uh, when I'm that guy is pretty frame. fucking crazy. So like, hey, right I'm getting off the internet for the guy. weekend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're worried about that shaman. I'd be worried about that one dude you showed on stream that showed up that looked the like autistic he was, kid. Yeah, yeah, the auti- That's a guy that's going to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shaman yeah. ain't going to kill you. That autistic guy that showed up after everything had went down. Uh, I think he wants to wear my skin. Dog, I, I'm like good. I, I, I wouldn't open the door there, boogie. Make a three piece yeah. suit out of Did you see that? Did you see that dick? That was a creepy ass video. No, I this didn't. This guy see just it. shows yeah, up at Boogie's it's, house and is like, like a, I want to talk. It was like an autistic, <laughs> it was like an autistic teenager. And like, uh, finally, I had a, a cameras uh, back up and running. And so, like, on the front porch, he's like, Hi, Sammy. Like, he's like talking to my dog through the window and shit. And then he's like, Sorry, you know, oh, man. Like, don't show up to people's houses. When a girl gets found in a suitcase, you know who to point the cops to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta save the footage. Yeah. That guy should call mm. in yeah, my yeah. show. Yeah, please call him in. Get mm-hmm. Flaming Star on your show. He's gonna say the same stuff, but it'll be really entertaining. And right after that, put Shoe Nice on. You're really you'll get mad ratings. You can make big money. Right. Well, now if you put <laughs> Flaming Star on, um, you'll be doing me a favor, which I know you will not want to do. But if you do, uh, we'll get more actionable stuff for his trial. You should November, get fucking Frank Hassel great. on. You should get yeah. Frank oh, on and ask his okay. side of the story. Yeah. I've got. I've had Frank on. I think I had Frank on after the uh, after yeah, try to kill yeah. him uh, to talk about it. Uh, I'm trying to get that. The, did you guys see Baby Reindeer? That show about this uh, this gay guy that tried to uh, sleep his way no. in Hollywood or something. He, there's a stalker on that show, and uh, it's supposed to be a true story. I, somebody found who the stalker is. I'm trying to get her to call in. Baby uh, call Reindeer in. is that is that is that baby where reindeer. we are in coming up with social media names? You have to call yeah, yourself d- Baby. D- fucking just imagine reindeer? you wake up one day and your whole like goal in life is to put that butt to work to get into Hollywood. Like, I'm going to ride enough dick. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. really weird. <laughs> oh. He's, like, trying to spin it like a gay me too. It's like, man, I don't I don't think so. You seem just like a closet. Like, you have some weird, unresolved just, issues. Just fucking old white men. Like, ooh, your three-piece suit turns me on, Dad. Yeah. You think Kevin Spacey's innocent? No. What about no. you, Jake? I don't think he's innocent, but uh, it, he might have been. He's talented enough. To where I feel like Hollywood would have turned a blind eye for a really long time, yeah. and now they they didn't. You know, every, the Harvey they, Weinstein you, thing. You know, every everything they tried to stick on him doesn't stick, though. You know, what I mean, I'm wondering if the show comes out on him, it actually backfires on the showmakers, sort of like the Michael Jackson thing. I, I think it's a little bit of both. Like, I I, I don't think he's innocent, but you I think he's an insufferable pain in the ass that's constantly irritating people about sexual stuff, and he's not like the animal they say. No, he is I think he I think he's a guy that drinks at parties. And he's maybe likes men, mm. and he hits on people, and they and they take it further than it actually is meant to be taken. That's what I just, that's kind of what I'm saying, though. Is that illegal? No, no. that's not illegal. No, it's not enough to no, make far a, from it. God, but I, I I think that's what it is. Like, oh, the, Kevin Spacey's hitting on me. Let me be an asshole and like you know shout at. Yeah, him but that's not a predator. Dogs. That's not what they're going to accuse him of. It's yeah. like that dude from Minecraft that tickled that bitch at the party. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's so stupid. Pretty funny. No, it wasn't at the party, by the way. That was at, in her... He, like, she went back to a room with him, laid down in bed with him, and then he he tickled her in bed. Oh. What the f- world are All we right. in All right, go ahead. that that's a problem? That he, he didn't fuck her. Yeah, all these kids, they, they tease me on my channel and say, oh, you're f***ing old. You're f***ing old. I am so glad I was born in the 70s, and I am so glad that I was single in a time where the world was sane. Yeah, you, and, um, Tommy, we uh, understand you're old as f- You used to take bitches into the cafe and let them, watch them suck on milkshakes. That was your idea of porn. What? Mm. <laughs> mm. What? Well, at least my girlfriend's I, were under 300 pounds. 
Me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> My wife is lighter than you right now, Tom. That's probably true. But I'm an old fart now, and it wasn't then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My point is, it was a lot more fun to date and, and be around girls than it, than it is now. Now it looks like a pain in the ass. Is it? Dick? Now you, you got to stand like in line and, and have your resume out. What? Yeah, who needs that? And hopefulation. You ever you, you ever see that? Um, there, there was a show called Amazon Women on the Moon, and there's a skit that Mike Gutenberg does, right? And this is like 89, 88 when this movie came out. And then uh, he goes to pick this girl for a date up. And she goes, listen, um, I know it's a little weird, but can I have your credit card and your uh, driver's license? And she's like, well, because I have to run a check. And she goes to this like fax machine and faxes it in. And she gets all this information back about his, his dating life. Because all these girls fill into some kind of database and tell you what a prick he was, right? And I'm thinking to myself, that's kind of real now. That's like in 88, it yeah, was just that, kind that, of a that's funny a joke. Facebook yeah. Group. yeah. My, yeah, my wife follows this Facebook group is like, are you dating the same guy I'm dating? And the people could put their new boyfriend out there to see if other girls in the group are dating wow. him. In Germany, they had a list of people that begged for drinks, right? So like, there's always like a, you know, a few soldiers that, you know, spend all their money during the week and they start begging for drinks and cigarettes on the weekend. And they had an entire like database on Facebook and like, yeah, don't hook this guy up with a drink. Don't give this person a cigarette. They never bring their own. They always need money. And they had it, it just went on for fucking ever. <laughs> Did it work? What? I don't know if it worked. I always had my own money, but they had like uh, like they had their picture and their offense. Yeah. You know, like, oh, this yeah. guy they is. They can hear wow. those cigarette packs open. As soon as they hear that cellophane crack, they're just. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're on, over they're on you. Making a pie. <laughs> yeah. Too funny. I think um, I think we uh, I think we got the probably the more at most out of dick than we can hope to. We probably should well, you know. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is the most dick I've had in a while. All right, thank here. you for yeah, coming on, Dick. You can empathize. Yeah, uh, Dick has a pleasure, man. I was fun. I think you're check me out. Biggest problem, Dick Show. Either one. Thanks everybody for being a part of Low Cal Live, not the Low Cal Podcast, as Boogie keeps saying. And we hope to see you really soon next time. <laughs>